Hello and welcome to the Free Cheese episode 269. I'm your Joe Dix, joined by Ben Barrett. What's up? Mark Augustiniak. Hey. Matt Zellner. Hello. The Free Cheese is a weekly video game podcast about video games brought to you once a week by thefreecheese.com. Right in the pit. Right in the pit. Sup? Welcome to October. Like a peach. Sure. Peach pie. I guess isn't that, so. Isn't that what they're called? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think so. The core of it, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the it's the knuckle. That's what I call it. The knuckle. That's the walnut. You get it, you throw it away. Or I don't you, know what's going on. You can make potpourri out of peaches. Potpourri or potpourri? Uh, or potpourri. Uh, potpourri is actually yeah. good. I heard it's it works. too legit. Yeah, I use it. I use it at, at, my, at my work. Is it that film? No, it's just a spray you put in the toilet bowl. So when you take a shit, it doesn't stink. Isn't there one that like leaves a film over top of the water? I don't know about that. Yeah, that's weird. But I mean, the, it's, the this is not a film. It just it, it's not a film. Film. It, it's but a, it's a movie. It's, it's look. It looks like that. Yes, but like you're like you don't put it there after you go. You put it there before before you go, and yeah. it passes so it through. So it masks. Yeah. The, yeah, it goes yeah, through yeah. the veil. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it works though. It really works. <sighs> hey, I got to travel this week uh, to the far off lands of Columbia, Maryland. And out there, boys, they got all sorts of weird ass restaurants that aren't really. Oh, nice. go fuck! I fucking hate Columbia restaurants, dude, so much. They're it's, all like artsy fartsy shit. This one was. I mean, everything out there's a fucking chain. They just have different chains than we have because Columbia gets nicer things than we it's do so over on this lame. side of six ninety five. Here is something though. They had a Coke freestyle machine. You punch you, it. That's how you use them. I approached it. <laughs> I didn't know. If I had known this was the, I thought I was going in. Wait, where were you? Payway. Did it drop some oh, bars? Dude. Payway. That's like, oh, that's that dope Chinese place, right? It's fine. It's like if you. It's Is like it if like you Panda? turned. It, it's like if you turned PF Chang's into Cadoba. Yeah, like okay. Panda. That's what Panda Express is like. I've never been to a Panda Dude, Express. Dude, Panda Express is pretty dope. Oh, you get money's worth with your drinks. Well, wait, a Panda? Yeah. I like, never get like their medium there. is everyone else's extra large. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I know what you mean. Like, the, you just walk up, and there's like, yeah, it's like a, it's basically, it's just another college cafeteria. Where you it's, just, it's a college yeah, cafeteria. Yeah, what you want. You to, That's to, what every restaurant is now. I get my drink. I approach the Coke freestyle machine, intending just to get a Coke and be upset about it because I'm sure it tastes like Hawaiian Punch. I see on the screen, they've got irresistible flavors, and it's a picture of Dracula. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, Come boy. on, man. Halloween. Let's do this. Oh, what, Hawaiian Punch? I click on it. They got three different flavors of Fanta, all with something spooky going on. How about Fago? And it's called Should've Irresistible Mixes. And I was like, okay, so it looks like orange soda is the base of this, but they're probably mixing it with something. Hmm. They had a grape one that had Frankenstein. They had a root beer one or something else that had some other bullshit. I was like, all right, all those suck. I'll do the orange soda. See what that does. It was fucking orange soda. And it tasted flat because it came out of one of those shitty yeah, ass see, machines. That's what I'm saying. You just don't use them. Oh, How would you use them? I, had no, I was already there. I already paid for my food. Sorry. I wanted to return it. Was it food dope? What did you get? General soup? Tso's chicken. Wonton soup. Dude, wonton. No one's eating soup ever. <laughs> Hey, you drink. You ate wonton soup. You ever had soup that's soup has been banned? <laughs> dude, wonton Bullshit. soup. Bullshit! I had it last night. What well, no. wonton soup? Dude, no, wonton, no, not soup, wonton dude. soup. I had chicken and rice last night. Chicken and rice, dude. What is dope about wonton soup? Wonton broth. and soup. No, see, that's the word broth. It's nothing but broth. It's a cup of it's broth. Not, uh, have you, have you Why are we doing this? Soup? Why do we always talk about soup? Why does this always come up? So how come it's not brother and it's brother? <laughs> Fuck. Just I'm asking the important questions here. about the goddamn Coke freestyle machine. <laughs> oh, it just started like dissing you and your family. God, what that's is the a, next. A that's the next generation. <laughs> that, I was gonna say that's the next generation. Of these fucking restaurants. You don't have to talk to some sad cafeteria lady. You walk in, you go to a Coke freestyle machine. Choose between your Coke, Hawaiian punch, or fucking chicken noodle. You press a button. Ugh. That's what uh. What? <laughs> little Caesar's Pizza does. You don't even have to talk to the dudes. You just. Bloop, bloop, bloop on your phone. Walk up to the oven and... Or just take your five hours out. later, you got a pet pizza. I mean, yeah, de delivery exists, too. Did I, you know, what, talk to someone you know what's overrated? But how long is it before drones deliver your food? That's where it's at. Mm, That's yeah. where it's at. I want to... 
hits your window. Just, like, <laughs> just plops on the ground. <laughs> Drops a fruit into the head. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want in the future. Soup. More soup. No. No. I need soup to be outlawed. That's, that's false, man. Not gonna that's be. false. Seems that's great. false. You probably like ranch with your ranch. That's too. what we ought to do for the freecheese.com. We got all those shitty fucking banner ads coming up telling me to vote. We ought to buy a bunch of them for us and just have everyone vote to vote now. Ban soup. Yeah, don't, you'd be the only one that would do that. Do. <laughs> the the freecheese table here would vote no. against that. There are many of us. Dude, soup's dope. Uh, soup's too dope. I'm trying to be the neutral one here out of the soup wars that happen. But <laughs> the great soup wars. Yeah. I'm just going to stick to my grilled cheese and tomato classic. Yeah, dude. Because it's more dude. of a dip. You know? Yeah. See, but the problem is if you're going to have to choose a soup, you go with tomato. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Grilled cheese and chicken noodles. What is, wrong, what, what is wrong with just a. I mean, I add spices to it. Have you ever it's been to like a, a Japanese tomato. steakhouse? It's like a sweetness. I like a good savory tomato. I'm thinking like a pasta but sauce. But if you use it like a dip, it's more of just a. Uh, what's the fucking word for it? Condiment? No. Ketchup. Um, dumb. No, it's some fancy <laughs> chef term. Au ah, jus. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of it. Marinade. Anyway. Fancy glaze. chef term. Blaze. It's closer to glaze. It's just enough to where it doesn't overpower the grilled cheese. It's a nice, it's complimentary. All right, I it. thought you're eating the grilled cheese and then spooning the soup in your mouth. No, I'm dipping. Like, I'm oh, so, right, the bread right, is getting right, soaked right. in it. Man, it's that's fucking <laughs> good. It's fine. I'm still mm-hmm. laughing at Better. saying condom. <laughs> <laughs> More on that later. No. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good, man. Good. I had soup last night. <laughs> ben, <laughs> save me, Mark, please. I married my friends yesterday. Hey, look at that. You're a real man. Yeah. Well, I guess he is, not you. But, <laughs> but you helped him get there. Yeah, because you're yeah. a real wedding boy, huh? I guess. Thanks just with a click of a button on a website. <laughs> yeah, I'm official. <laughs> was, that, was that money? Did you talk about that on air before? I think maybe. I think you did. I think it was on air. Yeah. It's definitely at this table. It's just it doesn't, a yeah, I know. It doesn't technically cost anything. The only thing that you have to pay for, but they, I mean, the bride and groom did it for me, was to get the forms from the courthouse. But you, in order to become ordained, just went on a website for free. Um, they have packages if you want to buy like certificates to hang on your wall or cards or whatever shit. But you don't. What certificate do look like? Does it have like a picture of Bigfoot? No, I mean, you actually, well, for yourself, you can get different themes. Mm. They have Star Wars mm. if you're into that. Hell yeah, I'm getting ordained. Uh, how did they get who? Star? How did they do that? Star Wars weddings. Who? But I'm talking about licensing. I can't imagine the dis- who's. It's all all, right. it's it's kind of like when you get like a bank card. You put every word of fucking picture you want on it, but it's still a bank card. It's kind of like oh. that. It's still a licensing with that though. Well, but you're putting your you're putting your picture on. You're deciding what picture goes in there, and then it goes through an approval process. Is it one of those, or do they have pre-selected themes? It's pre. It's all pre-selected. So then they pay Disney. Someone's on. That's. It's also a website that that was rec- that Conan O'Brien used to marry people on his show. Okay. So, so it's they've legitimate. got some clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they've got the money to to spend on <laughs> Disney licensing. If I didn't yeah, do any yeah. of that, I just signed up. Whatever. Yeah. And um. Well, that's probably how you get the money, right? You spend the money, you pay a premium, they spend it to renew the license until they fire everyone that works there. I don't know if my license expires. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, it's free. Yeah. Um, this was my first time. Never done it before. Uh, this one went pretty well. Got a lot of compliments about it. Did you have to? Did you write a whole thing? They had they had the ceremony script kind of prepared for the most part. I I added a, some things, fine tuned a couple of things, some but puns. Um, I added. This was the one time I couldn't <laughs> joke when I wanted to, because because they were fucking joking. During their vows, and I, I was like, "Damn it, I gotta be professional. This sucks." Uh, but, no, but the, it it was good. Like I added like my own stuff in there, so it's fine. Should just been like Charlie Kelly and just yelled "wild card bitches, yeehaw!" Yeah, and hopped out the van. <laughs> That's cool. Drop your pants, take off running. And then you know, the reception was pretty good. Just kept dancing all night. Yeah, it's good stuff. Get your steps in. Mm-hmm. A lot of Pokemon there. No. None of that. Was it in a church? Was it in a hall? No, it was, was it in a field? Um, was it in a... It was in Bel Air. It was in the uh, woods where Joe drank at. No, <laughs> like, it's, yeah. I think it's called the Rockford Inn. It's just a nice little like house. It's a little garden shed outside the oh, town. I've heard of that place before. Yeah. It's, it's small and cozy, whatever. Sorry. When you said a house, I'm like, I just broke into someone's yeah. house and had a wedding. That's how... You're not supposed to do that? It's like a bad Rob Zombie movie. <laughs> Dude, I've been to a backyard wedding. You mean a Rob Zombie dead. movie? Yeah. yeah. Not, <laughs> not Halloween, though. Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh. You've been to what? 
A backyard wedding. It was yeah. Legit all in a backyard. It was dude. Uh, I, I think that's it. how my parents got married. Backyard wedding. Chipotle served food. Mm. Did they remember the guacamole? Yeah, I think so. All right, good. I can't remember. Because you paid $2 extra for it. You should get... Dude, you know... You you know I think it's three now. Dude, I read online on, like, alexjones.com slash conspiracies uh, <laughs> <laughs> that the reason why guac is, like, three bucks extra is because there was a guac shortage at the time. Mm. And then they found out, or they realized, like, dude, people were just buying guac anyway, so we're just going to keep it... Yeah. As yeah, priced as is the, the guac market is not a thing to fuck with. Uh, but I'm fine with that because guac is just dope. Like yesterday I went to Chipotle and he was like, I, I get offended when they're like, it's gonna be three dots. It's like I know, I've been here before. Just fuck, the put the guac on it. Wait, you they know, still charge it. that? God, it's yeah, bullshit. man. Just go to the no, fucking store and I've buy been, an avocado. I've been well, I've been to store like the Chipotle's and they don't even say it's gonna be extra because they just assume you know at this rate. Hmm. I'm fine with it. It's just three bucks. An avocado is like a dollar, and you get triple the guac that they give Not you. Not always a dollar. Maybe it's like a dollar fifty. What store are you going to? <laughs> Just go to the store and get say, give me, give me, give me two, two for three. It's like a dollar fifty. You know what kind of what kind of guac avocado are you getting? But there's the labor ones. on all that involved. They gotta cut it. Yeah. Gotta it's like any finished good. Nut. You gotta cut it. You gotta put a knife down okay, the Joe, middle so of next, it. Okay, sorry. Next well, it's not that this. hard because there's a goddamn middle, the, the the fucking nut in the middle, or whatever. Why does the name change? What? Uh, you, it's guac is a dip, so you add things to it. Yeah, you put like peas and onions, and, like garlic in it. I don't know. Peas and onions? I don't know. That's what goes in it, but I know Dude, something no, goes Chipotli in. Dude, no, made so a guac statement. They're like just one of the avocado? ingredients in our guacamole avocado, is peas. Other stuff that goes what? In it. Oh, yeah, man, okay. I wouldn't lie about that. I know you wouldn't lie about it, but I think, Alex <laughs> I think they're ridiculous for putting for putting peas in there, dude. So they, that, they do. No, that means that they're they're watering down your guac, boy. But that, apparently, that's like the traditional it's a guac of shit. <laughs> Mark's here. Hey, hey. Mark's one, here. One He's avocado. Been bottling it up all this whole time. <laughs> one avocado, split it in half, scoop it out, mix in garlic, onion. Lime juice, just to spritz. Yeah, lime juice, and then peas. Chili and powder. Some broth. No. Or cayenne. No fucking broth. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, have you ever boiled rice in broth, not just Salt. water? <laughs> Dude, I'm being 100% serious. It is. Oh, dude. What's the difference? Thicker? Thicker it's, rice? It's delicious. Mm. Do you like gravy? I like a good gravy. That's basically broth. Mm-hmm. No, it's thick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a thick broth. And it's a pour over. Yeah. I'm not. Nothing swims in gravy. <laughs> well, the mushrooms you put in it. M- who's putting mushrooms Depends on anything? Where you are. If you're in Jersey, New York, gravy is actually Italian sauce. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they call it. They call it gravy. Like grandma's gravy. I'm being for real, man. I've I'm a Jersey never... local. I was there for three I, years, guys. I do not <laughs> like that alliteration at all. <laughs> <laughs> grandma's <laughs> grandma's <laughs> gravy. <laughs> Well, well. So yeah, the wedding was nice and pretty. That was that was cool. That's good. <laughs> glad I did it. Christ, Matt, did you have a week? I did. You guys brought up Rob Zombie. I'm glad you did. Oh yeah. I want to put down the timestamp. It was one hour, one minute, and I believe 43 seconds in to the film Rob Zombie's Halloween Two, that Victoria officially said, "What the fuck are we watching?" Yep. <laughs> Wow, is that the is that the Sherry Moon on the horse? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a that's a record. Yeah, I mean, good for her for sticking out that long. Dude. I mean, I uh, she was questioning things well beforehand, and then finally she was just like, as soon as the white horse white white horse definition popped up, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, with that being said, we officially finished all of the sequels. Now we just have to watch the first one. For Thursday night. Saving the best. Dang. Dang. This see. Thursday, right? Yeah. Let me finally see the new Halloween. Nice, 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 nice. I'm excited. I haven't been to the movies in a while. Speaking of timestamps, real quick, and then we get back to that. Um, on a certificate, I had to put down what time they got married. I did oh. not know what time because we weren't keeping track. I know what time so, you put. So I, I told them, put. Hold on. They recommended it so i was like what time i was like oh, i was like 6 10 or something they're like you know what fuck it just put down 609 i was like you got it oh i was going somewhere else the, well, the wedding was at six right, so we didn't it was either six nine oh, yeah. mm-hmm. or four two zero yeah, yeah. i was like so, okay. one of the two I'll so officially it. 609 p.m. that's pretty good <laughs> that's pretty good Fuck you. 
Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's a good time. Spookins. Damn. So yeah, we you know we finished up those Halloween movies, and then I was like, all right, Victoria, now throw away all that knowledge. <laughs> <Just> forget <laughs> everything get, we just did. And get ready for the new one. Damn. So now what? Kfab? Is that what it is? So she hasn't K-fab. seen K-fab. the first one yet. She's seen. We watched it last year when we started dating. Okay. Okay. Cool. I was about to say I'm you just put her on it. this whole train. No, no. <laughs> she went, if she hadn't seen the first one, we want to watch because so much. Yeah. comes from the first one yeah definitely. i mean they reboot the timeline multiple times off the first one so you gotta have that base knowledge yeah but no i'm very excited it was uh it was there's a lot of uh homages to the first movie that i did not realize at the time in halloween 2 uh no in the first rob zombie one uh mm-hmm. they played don't fear the reaper twice yeah, yeah. The, the second time it was like all right you guys are reaching but uh reaping. Yeah, the rob I, zombie halloween has a great metal soundtrack I remember that in the movie theater, I was like legit headbanging. And then he, he uses like a lot the original score stuff. too. Like he doesn't. I mean, of course he's gonna doctor it a little bit, but he doesn't really touch it that much, mm-hmm. which is nice. Yeah, like out of all like the modern remakes, like that one's actually one of the more okay ones compared to like Nightmare on Elm Street or. Yeah, I mean that that whatever. movie has its problems. Seeing it again about what. Ten years later, I think the last time I saw it was actually in theaters. What the yeah. remake? Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. I didn't even yeah. fucking bother with it. Not uh, Halloween. No oh, Halloween. You the didn't remake. see Nightmare on Elm Street remake with Jack Earl Haley? I did not. No. Rorschach. Rorschach. And then the Friday the Thirteenth. I did reboot. see the Friday. That one's okay, but dude, that one, I love that one. Like it's not bad. Like, I mean, there was stupendous tits in it. Oh, remember? It's the best scene. Yeah. <laughs> the best scene. <laughs> no, like the kills were good. It's just that because New Line bought whatever company was doing those movies before. And then from that point on, they had, they started getting a little more mm, yeah. safer in the, in a way. I don't know how else to put it. It uh-huh. didn't have like that good slasher vibe at like, as like the well, couple, like the Dimension, first three did or something. That's what Dimension ended up doing the Halloween. They started with Halloween. They yeah. bought it for Halloween um, six and then did the rest of them. Yeah. Cause when new line bought it, that's when you got Jason X. That's when you got Freddy versus Jason. And then you got the reboot. That's all new line cinema. Hmm. I liked Friday the Thirteenth, except yeah, the fucking beginning of it. The it, remake or OG? The remake, because I was literally oh, before God. that movie came out. I remember I was working at a comic shop, and you do what you do when you work in a comic shop, which is talk about all those fucking movies. And I was like, "How the fuck is this gonna happen?" Because it's two thousand fucking nine. We all have cell mm-hmm. phones. If some dickhead with a machete was coming at you, just call someone. Like, oh, I remember this. And then the fucking beginning of the movie, they're walking, and then, oh, my cell phone. It was just like, oh, I think that was at so the time where it's just like, you had to start you had to do it. incorporating it a cell so phone into movies. It. And they didn't, um, it wasn't perfected yet, but I like that they got um, the first movie out of the way in the intro. Like the mom getting beheaded or whatever. It, I don't it, remember like, that at all. It, it was just the intro credits. It was her getting the revenge back in that like 70s or whatever. Uh, and then it skips all the way up to now. Or present, whatever. Early yeah. Cut to teen saying, "Man, I got new cell phone." Yeah, so. just trying to find weed. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember right. that, that was the whole yep. thing. That was I remember that. going in with the lowest of expectations of that movie and coming out mm. pleasantly surprised. I thought it was good. Yeah, that was one bad. I think that was a movie I got free, or I got got into for free. I mean, it's probably better than Halloween too. Zombie Rob Zombies, edition. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's start a call. I'm down to start a call. Did you guys play any video games this week? Yeah. Here, let me get what mine out of said, the way. What we Real all quick. said no? Well, I mean... Spoilers. I didn't play shit. So, who's next? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Did you have any thoughts about video games? How about uh, oh, instead of now playing, it's now thinking? Oh. Oh. Look at that. Bringing some life into this. I don't know. I mean, but aside from the stuff that like we record, I feel like that's just... There's no really much to why like why talk about it if we you can just watch it. That's true. You should go watch it. There's a video of us playing more Hitman, and a video of uh, Resident Evil. Right? Was that man. last week? There will be a new Resident Evil. I gotta get that up. Gotta get that up. There oh. is a uh, and Mario Party failed to upload. So I gotta that Mark that hinted from last week that I'm 100 percent down for. By the way, there's a what? Oh yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. For now, thinking. Um. Definitely, pre- I mean, I'm prepping for Red Dead. That's basically what's on my mind. Yeah. Fuck, is that this month? Yeah. yeah. It's like two month. weeks. God, games have to stop coming out. Yeah. yeah. No, no, you're in that time of year, dude. I mean, I I need Fuck. to I need to get back into Bloodborne. Yeah, you do. I just 
for some like my PS4 is hiding behind my Xbox, and I'm just like it's it's just so much in the way. I just don't want to get to it. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Just, just do what I would in my Dreamcast. Nathan, man. Get your Xbox, Dan. <laughs> Nathan Drake just collecting <laughs> dust. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really do want to get back into that as much as I dread it. <laughs> yeah, it's just the beginning. That's all. It's just, uh, yeah. it's just me. Just get, but once you get over that curve, just kind of suck that yarn. And do it, it is a all the Souls games are like that. Like in the beginning, yeah. it's like. It's just dreadful. It always punches you in the face. Because you don't. Boss it's, it's, it's not because the game is a bitch. It's because you are. A I, I bitch. think. Yeah. Like Daniel I, Dwyer said I'm a in bitch. that. No, that last statement he said in that video, Danny Dwyer's video about Bloodborne. Yeah, 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 yeah. Accurate. Yeah. You, you you just, it's not hard. You just and it's not worth what he said. It's it's not hard. You just suck at it. Yeah, you just don't know yeah. it yet. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna. I'm almost just reboot it at this point because I'm not that far anyway. I'm just. I think I'm gonna switch back to the axe. Because if you, if you think about it, like. If I hand you a controller right now, and you try and play Castlevania One, nope. But it's a, it's a simple select. ass yeah. fucking game. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> good callback. It is A and B. You jump and you whip. Period. That's it. There's nothing to it. It's just about knowing where to jump, when to whip. Yeah. When to whip. When. To... When the nay nay. Ben, what did you play this week? I uh, the forest. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot what it was called at first. I beat it. Nice. Kinda, nice. Oh, I think. Well, got out of the forest? Well, kinda. Mm. Um, there's two different endings. Um, one ending is the end game, like credits roll. And the other one is you just keep playing. I don't get it. No credits. So, I mean, there's two different endings. Do you want me to... I don't know how spoiler... No, I mean, so... You choose the ending? No. You, oh. you choose... Okay, so you get to this certain part in the game, and you you decide what you want to do. It's a very binary... Yes oh, so you don't no. choose. You just decide. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm done. No. Uh, I won't go into spoilers or anything, but I think... I mean... Overall, this game is fucking amazing. Um, is it like literally a go left, go right thing? Yeah. Or okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And I first. Oh, the frustrating thing was um, leading up to the ending in the last part of the game. There's no save spots, so it's about three hours of playing of not saving. Oh, it's not like an auto save thing. You no. Actually, oh. Did you die? No, I didn't die. I was just getting frustrated because it was. I was. I was like trying to keep my eyes open because it was like 12 30 one o'clock on like a wednesday and i'm like i gotta wake up for work tomorrow but i can't shut it off because i'm like i just beat the last boss and then like after you beat the last boss there's like all this shit you gotta do and you don't save you gotta start playing games just like an hour earlier and <laughs> this happens every time i know <laughs> it's every time and then because fancy mods me she's like I, I, i'm sorry babe, i gotta go to bed i'm like go to bed please like this is, i'm not i just want this to end like i'm like blood boiling just i want it to end so what's the final boss is it like a thing you fight or is it yeah, it's, a, it's a thing okay. you fight it's uh it kind of at the beginning of the game it kind of hints of what you're gonna go against and then when you finally face it it's yeah. like you face it and then is it a good fight for a boss fight yeah, yeah. it wasn't impossible but it also wasn't easy if that makes sense you know what i mean um, like said, that's the only frustrating thing about it. Um, but then it kind of makes you wonder because this part's not really a spoiler, but there's artifacts in this forest, like ancient artifacts. I don't know if we talked about it last time. The one, it kind of like revives you and like brings back the dead, but it also mm. like spreads some kind of like virus. Mm. And the other artifact it's this like huge alien looking like laser beam. It's kind of like the Death Star of the Force. Like it just fucks shit up. And then the ending kind of like it kind of hints at a third artifact. Hmm. So I don't know if that means there's gonna be a sequel or not. Or is there something or, you haven't found? Just something you haven't found. And that's I as much as I love this game, that's the one thing that kind of irks me about is it has a terrible like way of presenting things. Like I said it last week, I had to go online so many times, had to read through the wiki to like understand of like what was going on, like even story wise. So does Bloodborne, but you love Bloodborne. So what what's different about this? Bloodborne, you can play without knowing anything about the story, and it's still the best game on earth. Okay. This one, you're playing through the story. You're playing the story mode. Okay. You you're finding your son Timmy, 
and there's a oh, story so behind like it. Yeah. But yeah, like like but Bloodborne, there's no connective tissue. If you were to ask me the story of Bloodborne right now, I can't really tell you. Well, there is none. Yeah, Kinda, it, there's a fucking there's like college. There's a big old mm. monster. There's so much. I, I mean, know, but th- no, there's there is there's, a lot. There's a lot. It to all it. starts with Dracula. It all starts with Amphlo. Yes. Flow. Oh yeah. No, but like I said, just the way it presents things, and then like I kind of still want to play it because there's caves I haven't explored yet, and there's items I haven't gotten. But then it's like, what, I don't know what the point is. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I, I I liked it. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it for what it was. Um. Another game I finished up, uh, Resident Evil 7. Wait, Word. When you say finished. I played through... Just the main game? The main game. So you need to I have those? all the DLC. I just haven't played them yet. Okay. And then there's... Still good. I mean, that's still awesome. Because there's, there's the DLC, and then there's, like, band footage? Okay, okay, yeah, the, uh, so the, the, the tapes. Yeah. They're all, like, minigame stuff that's not essential... To play, but one of them's even like it. It explains like it, the family history and whatnot uh, of the Baker, more family, or less. Whatever, yeah, more or less, yeah, yeah. Like there's some side parts with um, is is the son Jack? Yeah, I think no, that's I think it's the brother, or I, I forget what his name is. I'm terrible with names. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, no, no, um, but the son, like the the smart techie one, whatever. Yeah, um, there's a mini game with him where you're playing as uh, not Ethan. Right, Ethan is the main Ethan's character's a, name. Mia, no, no, the no. Like, like, who, who are you playing as? In Ethan. E, okay, you're not him. You're some other dude. I forget his name. Oh, he's one of the people in the verse, the first VHS tape you find of the people like filming in that oh, house. Yeah, yeah. It's one of them, and you're playing. Um, I think it's like blackjack. We have blackjack, and you have to win, or else like, you know, he just fucking kills oh, you with, cool. his, with, his, contra- like, with cool. his traps, and it gets worse and worse. That's cool. Like it's not needed, but it's nice. To, like it's cool. It fills in those little gaps that you didn't think were there. But uh, yeah. So, how'd you feel about that ending? So, you talked about the ending on the game of the year, right? Yeah, I'm pretty we, sure I fought. So everybody knows. We talked. I mean, we know. I don't know if the audience knows. Yeah, so the audience. I assume <laughs> if the audience doesn't want to know, perhaps skip ahead a few minutes. Okay, so it is that Chris Redfield? Yes, because he picks you up and then he's like, "I'm Redfield." Yeah, I know he doesn't look like I'm part of Umbrella, the Chris like, that whoa, whoa, whoa. we are used to. But what happened is because since this game they had a new engine, so they remade everybody from the ground up. Yeah. So now it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a little more realistic looking. No, I like this Chris Redfield better because yeah. he's now roided up. I like now, that. Um, there was a. Those CG movies that Resident Evil makes, they're mm-hmm. actually canon. And the most recent one that has him and Leon and somebody else, they are mostly Chris, but like they they're trying to rebrand Umbrella. They cuz once they t- took it down or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you find a um cuz now instead of red and white, it's like blue and white. Well, you find that document. I think it's right before yeah. you face off against uh uh Evelyn, I think her name, whatever. And then yeah. it's like, we're the new Umbrella. We're trying to rebrand ourselves. We started this, and now we got to clean it up or some shit. Yeah, so yeah. Redfield wanted to take lead on that. I'm like, we have to go and clean all this shit up. So that's pretty much, he's like the head of that. Now. So is it in that same universe? Yes. Okay. Everything that's happened, like this is the most recent out of all that timeline. Okay, because happens, like all, so, yeah, all the yeah. way up to that part, I just assumed this was like a whole in quotes, universe, just a whole fresh take on Resident Evil. But then, like... It's, it's, it's like a soft reboot. Because you find, like, before that boss fight, there's you uh. find this, like, newspaper, and it's, like, it's the 15-year anniversary of the events of Raccoon City. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, shit. It's, like, that has, that has to be it. And the gun that Chris hands you is Wesker's gun. Oh, you're talking about the... Yeah, the Albert because it's, or called, it's called the Albert. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was very Resident Evil 1 ending. Fucking when you're putting the bullets. field, it's like, take the gun, big use it! And I'm like, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That's Resident Evil 4 is... Mm-hmm. Ending to a degree too. Oh yeah. Take this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would, okay. Resident Evil Seven is probably. I want to say it's my third Resident Evil. I had so third much fucking favorite. fun with this game. What's you first? Third, third first favorite, is right? a hard tie between remake and two. Hmm. And then till, whoever uh, loses out of that one comes in second. Huh? <laughs> it's a wait till next year. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh my God, yeah. Jesus Christ. But yeah, no. Resident Evil. It's just a fucking such a good goddamn game. It's exactly what Capcom needed to do. Resident Evil. No more telekinetic 
or even like on rail shooter bullshit. Like it's just you don't think they're I good did, back there? I didn't mind that one rail. Uh, no, I think at all. Have you played the Resident Evil rail shooters? Yeah, the Umbrella, Umbrella Chronicles? Chronicles. Dude, that game. It's they're fun. Like it. Are for we being for real right now? No, it's yeah. like being, being the fucking arcade right in your on your Wii. I'm not saying you it's know, not a it's Resident Evil, Evil game. game. It's, it's fucking Ugh. House of the Dead. I love House of the Dead. So why but don't Resident you love Umbrella Chronicles? I, I think it. I think it's a good way to get the cliff notes of the series. If you don't want I to spend all I the did, time, I did not play those games for a story. I played. Well, I mean, it you literally. shouldn't. You shouldn't. But for two people who aren't familiar sure. with Resident Evil, like if they're just getting into it and they all they have is a fucking Wii, it's like okay, well. I think I played it because this. I needed something to use my Wii zapper on. Mm. Boom! Link's crossbow was, training. Well, I bought I it for that. Link's crossbow <laughs> training, but once I had I'm it, I'm pretty sure that little like circle seal on the plastic is still on my Link's crossbow training. <laughs> Dude, it was a dope game. Yeah, I also got Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles at the same time and never needed to play. That's true. Anyway, yeah, I I, I want to get to 7 one day. It's so good, dude. And yeah. now I'm definitely going to play the DLC. The because, DLC takes it to another level. Because, well, I, I think the first one, it's you play as Chris. It's immediately right It's right, right after, after that. Yeah. Yeah, You know, because I play like five like, seconds of it and you're still in Yeah, the, like, Chris fucking yeah. runs off. He's like, oh, I got to go whatever. It's like, yeah. all right, there we go. So it, it's cool to f- actually feel like a character who knows what. But they're you doing. didn't even like that one. I huh? mean, you did. I did. But then the other one. End of Zoe. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar none. This is the, the my favorite out of that whole thing. Yeah. Okay. It's, so there's one thing I really didn't like about the story in seven. In seven. So there's a part in the game when you have to. It's a split. It's a yeah. Oh yeah, I made two different saves for it. It's just to I see did what the too. differences were. I did and too. It, it technically doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Like, what? Oh, I had like a baby yawn, and I didn't want to oh. breathe into the mic. <laughs> you look scared or something? I'm scared. So of you look triggered. You look triggered. Like he had to make two decisions in two different games. No. <laughs> so you basically decide between. I mean, I won't go too into, it, but it's you decide between two people. Yeah. And then you go with one person, and it, there's like another, I would say like another hour, two hours of gameplay after that, of the story. Mm-hmm. And then after playing, like I, I did what Mark did, I had a safe spot right before that, because like, oh fuck, then maybe the story will branch off and kind of twist around. If you go with the other person, it just picks up exactly to that other story. Yeah, so your, your first choice that would make the most sense yeah. is canon. Yeah. Because end of Zoe kind of touches back on that and it will show you that scene again and it plays that one so you but it doesn't matter even if yeah. you if you went with option b it yeah. still goes to the canon story the ending's still the same just it's the still the same different. but even like the like the beginning well, i would say the beginning of the at that end part of the game it's mm-hmm. the same exact thing I, I think there's i think there's one minor difference also that that it affects when you're when mm-hmm. you're on the ship and there's a fight that you can i i think it's an option to fight in or not because if you do option a Option A takes care of it for you. I mm. think option B, you don't. Hmm. I think you might have to fight it. And then at the very end, when you're, when you're in a helicopter, if you do option A, um, I, I think there's something with a cell phone. I think you hear a cell phone ringing or something. I forgot all, because, yeah, I forgot all about that. And option B, you don't have that phone. Okay. So it's like it's minute details, but it's still technically all the same action like yeah because yeah right at the end like the screen goes black right before the credits and mm. you hear like a vroom, 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 and i thought it was like my phone your or pager something. and then fade's like did you hear that a pager okay. and i was like yeah was that your phone and my phone was like no and yeah. i was like oh okay i guess that was a fucking yeah. game i, I th- yeah that's more connected to i think the dlc okay hmm. see so, yeah, i'm definitely gonna play through the dlc uh yeah like i said fucking fantastic game go play it and uh my last game, uh, I've said I would never do it. Oh. I said I would stop this series, leave it in the past. I booted up Battle.net, and I bought the shield. No oh, shit. Black Ops 4. Oh, you got it. Hell I got yeah. It. No shit. Yeah, man. I got text after text of my friends being like, yo. It's a shield. Yeah, because it's four. four. It looks like a shield. Uh, no yeah. shit. Yeah, man, I like it a lot. Huh? Yeah. What do you like about it? Because this is a first. Well, this was the first one on PC, but it's my first, first one, one that I bought on PC. Yeah. Well, the last one I played was Advanced Warfare on yeah. PS4. And you like that one a good bit? That's probably right? my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, How's the story in this one? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. So I just do a lot of team deathmatch, and it's it's Call of Duty, but they spin it up. Like there's there's not auto healing anymore. Ex- this time you you have like a med kit that charges. Oh, okay. Hmm. So it's cut, but it the way it charges back, it's fast. So it's in between modern shooters and Ben Barris. Yes, right. Because I don't. There was, I had a neck beard moment right when Modern Warfare came out, because you could auto heal, and I'm like, no, that means every shooter you're gonna fucking auto heal now. And I hate that so much. And they fucking did. And they did for like the longest time. So this one, it's like, at the end of each gunfight I have with someone, instead of automatically reloading, I'm hitting like. For me, it's like a button on my mouse. Yeah. So I just hit that button, and it does like an auto heal. So you heal up again, and yeah. then, then I reload and whatever. <laughs> um, It's Call of Duty, pretty much. That's the way you explain it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that part's kind of weird. Um, It's it's like Overwatch with the classes. Oh. Yeah. In a way. But, so, each character, you, you start the round, and you select a class. But it's not like this person runs faster than the other person. Instead of one person has like a ballistic shield, um, the other person can call in dogs, the other person has like a sticky grenade. So it's kind of like... And then there's like a medic. I don't know. I think it's kind of like Overwatch is too extreme from what no, I've seen I'm, of that multiplayer. It's, it's not... It reminds me more of Battlefield than okay, anything else. Yeah, but I, I just say Overwatch because it's a lot more stylized in battlefield like each, each class it's legit like a character like a, like and a, a perk, name and a perk yeah um. and th- there's a perk tied to that character but then you still have the traditional call of duty perks that you can equip on top of that well this is activision right yeah and aren't they in and bed with blizzard, blizzard? i yeah. mean this that's is why it's on battle net yeah. Yeah. yeah it is believe me i'm not activision happy that blizzard. i have to fucking open up battle net each time and i already have steam running and it's just like while it's open blackout i was gonna say what yeah the, the new story mode. <laughs> the ba- <laughs> if I want you to imagine if Treyarch played PUBG, and then they said, "Hey, let's put this in Call of Duty," because that's a hundred. That thought you had, that's a hundred percent accurate. That's all it is. That's it's, exactly what I said. It's when just I PUBG. The beta. It's just PUBG. So answer me this. But yeah, the the game apparently. Was it wasn't wasn't much to install until the day one patch, right? It's like fifty gigs. Was that so? Did the game just come with the blackout mode already installed, and then the rest of it you had to install? See, I can't tell you that because I downloaded and bought it Friday, like morning. So it had, it had, uh, it, had, it was already out. The server, whatever. I know that. Yeah, I know the disc was. It took me like was... four hours to download. Damn. It took me a long ass time to download this fucking game. The disc literally looked like an installer. I, there was a screenshot yeah. I saw on the internet of like. Of, of it of the game installed on the PS4 and it said all right disc 640 megabytes downloading yeah. 50 gigabytes and it's like yeah. what the yeah. fuck and, and then it would give you little markers on when you can play each mode that's, yeah, yeah that's I right. heard the first third is blackout like once you get like the oh, okay. 15 gig mark that's one blackout which makes sense because I imagine a lot of people who are going to be returning oh, to the series yes. or buying this are going to be because of the blackout mode out of curiosity so. so this blackout mode it's like I said it's PUBG. It's just fast. Yeah, with the triple yeah. budget. It's so, very fast. Yeah. Like I, I remember what, what Matt said about it, um, at least in the beta mode, but how do you feel when it... Because you say it's PUBG, but how PUBG is it? it this is not going to replace my love for playing PUBG. That's okay. That's kind of what I was asking. Yeah. <laughs> the way I'm going to see this is, this is, I think, a new... Not era. Just a new play mode of online multiplayer in general just another flavor it's just another it's another team deathmatch it's another capture the flag it's whatever it's just something else okay yeah it'll just become standard at some point because where the, the that is kind men- of a good way to look at it yeah i mean the whole mentality of battle royale it's not like it's not new it's, it's just not the player new it's not new. in depth it's not yeah. you know sophist- it's just it's just like a spin of team deathmatch it or, just keeps um, moving it's free for all with it's kind of more permadeath. like a larger kill kill confirmed Probably right. Is not is yeah. not the one where it's like once you're dead, you're dead. You don't respawn. I think no, kill confirm. You have to destroy. like search and just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, right. Kill but confirm. Yeah. Dog tags. Oh yeah, yeah. You're it right. It does right, feel yeah. very weird though. This engine, because I'm pretty sure they've been using not this identical engine, but something similar since Modern Warfare 
on 360. It feel every time I jump into a new Call of Duty, it feels like the Modern Warfare engine point. Yeah, whatever, that's what I mean. Like yeah. point six. Like, well, that was built on, on the source back, right? I don't know. Oh, I, don't, I, I wouldn't I, know. I feel but, like. I feel like it was, but then like through the years, as obviously Valve has become Valve and um and Activision's Activision, Activision chain, like all of those things, I feel like they may have had to strip a lot of that source stuff out. I'll I'll, I'll check my Bing machine. But yeah, like I said, it's not going to replace my love for PUBG. It's this is nowhere near as like accurate as PUBG. Like when in terms of like. Like PUBG, you gotta worry about bullet drop. You gotta worry like it's just a whole different speed, and that it just because it's faster doesn't necessarily mean that's a good thing either. Like sometimes I enjoy that like the slow paced PUBG style shooting. You know what I mean? Never mind, that was wrong. It was based on a better engine, Id Tech Three. Oh, yeah, and guess what? Source was kind of based off of. Like I think it was whatever Quake was. Not I don't think that was Id Tech Three. I think it was Ed Tech one or two. It was one of those. Yeah, actually, some line of code is still in like the source code for a source. That makes sense. Um, it's I I don't like I said it's not replacing my love. It's just a faster PUBG, and it feels really weird in this engine playing Battle Royale. So then why why still play PUBG? I like I said earlier, it's PUBG. It's just it's slower pace, but I feel like it's a lot more intense. Okay. Like this one, it, it legit still at times it still feels like I'm just doing team deathmatch. Like that pace. Hmm. It's fast and like when I say it's like PUBG, it's exactly like PUBG. Like you, it's the same concept. It, but this time you just have like a little narrator, like a guy that radios in. It's like get to the blue zone, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Huh. Hmm. But yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, fuck zombies. I don't care about zombie gameplay anymore. I'm not ever gonna try that. Yeah. Just. That was the main reason I didn't spend sixty bucks this week. Was yeah. Because I was like, all right, I will play the multiplayer if I got it. Blackout's gonna be the main attraction. I don't have a lot of friends getting it. I would spend forty bucks on this game because I'm not gonna play a third of it. No, that's smart. The only reason why I got it, like I said, is because my friends got it. If my friends hadn't didn't even get it, I wouldn't even think twice about this game at all. I mean, I have a feeling I'll have this game before you know we do our game of the year podcast. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just I I'm gonna be waiting for that Black Friday price drop that's, that's probably gonna inevitably become whether i have to get it physically or not that's fine that's smart so would you pay 25 dollars for one of those modes hell yeah i'll play I would, I would pay up to 30 for blackout that was about to be my follow-up question was like do you think we're gonna get to a point where games just start selling you by the mode and then like, and like the, dlc and then like the gold edition is just what the whole game would be mm-hmm. we've started to see that yeah yeah ea's done that with their sports franchises the some of them the last couple of years i know mm-hmm. fifa i think the last two years not at launch but once you get to that point where you start to see the price drops regularly or permanently comes down in price um they'll let you um purchase it like ad hoc like you know you could do the career what's that story mode that fifa started doing like two years ago yeah like, you purchase that. just that or you can f- purchase the franchise mode. I think the first game I ever saw do it was Fight Night Champion. Uh, they bl- they did like a career mode and then the story mode uh, all ad hoc as well. Because I think I bought the story mode and then I just ended up like buying the rest of the pieces to make the game. Which mm-hmm. still only ended up being like 40 or 50 bucks. Is it like Only a couple dollars more if I would have bought the package whole. Sure, at sure, the, sure. I'm going to say like is it, is it discounted if you buy one mode? Does that... I mean, yeah, it was it was the equivalent of like fifteen bucks for that one mode as opposed to the whole pack being like forty or thirty or whatever. But um, uh, yeah, it, it, if you just purchase the rest of it though, like mm. separately, it ended up being a few bucks more. Which you know, that's the price you do that if you buy it and you like yeah. the rest of it. It's just not something I'm used to seeing often. I mean, hell, I mean, even um, I mean Fortnite, duh, like they're single player. That's act. That's one that costs money, and then they have a separate mode you can get for free. So I think it's just Fortnite single player. Remind me, it's Is more that a thing. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I mean, I not anymore. It's announced in 2006. <laughs> Might be right. Jeez, this Christ. is an interesting direction to see things go in. Call of Duty, huh? Yeah, that's back, dude. And I'm probably gonna get battlefield when it comes out you know what's weird is going on twitch for the first time or going on, never been I, on, wow congrats it's not going on twitch regularly going on twitch for you know, a couple not like launch day but a yeah. couple days after and still see the numbers that black ops 4 is still producing oh, yeah. and it's right up there with Fortnite and the rest of the big ones i uh 
fucking right bumpered over to the mixer tab the other day. I was just passing through. And I was like, what is that? Someone's streaming PUBG. And I looked and I was like, oh, that right. That came out. It was like the teeny tiny window. Don't think that I mistook. The only the thing is, I don't it. know if I can ever play that game on PC. I, what? I'm so Call used Duty? to Call of Duty with a dual shock of some kind, whether it's a three or a four. Can I'm you not, not? It's really weird. Can you not use a dual shock on PC? You can, but why would you? Well, yeah, yeah, I know. But because even on the load screen, it says aiming assist has been disabled even for game pads on PC. So it's like, well, huh. you're kind of just well, shooting yourself in the foot. I mean, I guess you would be if you're playing with a controller. You know what it doesn't have though. I was like, man, I was in a group chat. Everybody's like, dang, you yep, just, just, just bought it, just bought it. Closed. It, it does like, have vaulting, though. It, yeah. But see, that's the good thing about those <laughs> Battle Royale mode, vaulting, right out of the gate. Yeah. <laughs> right so even, there. Even the unpolished Battle Royales make sure they have yeah. vaulting in it. <laughs> yep. It's there. The gunplay might not work, but you could, goddamn it, you can vault over a fence. You can. I was like, yeah, man, I can't wait to play Capture the Flag with everybody. Not in, not in Call of Duty. Huh. Why does why do you, really? what happened no. to capture the flag, man? I know yeah. that, that's my favorite. That's like the best well, game mode ever. When it's when it's done right. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to score by keeping your flag at your home, and then you bring their flag to you, not just take theirs, and it's a score. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I know. Halo fucks that up. Yeah. What happened to it? Why? I don't know. What happened on real tournament? Right. Bring, yeah. Well. Rip. It's in the epic launch. You're just sitting there. Rip. If you, did, uh, if you don't blindly click Fortnite. Awkward. Speaking of capture fight, did anyone try that uh, slipgate mode in Quake Champions? No. No. I, I meant to. I just I really. <laughs> I saw the update come down on Steam before my uh, yeah. electricity in my room got all fucked. It's been real busy, so I didn't look at it. But I know the new champions out, and yeah, that new mode's out. But I don't know what the new mode is. I know it's called Slipgate. It's not Capture the Flag, though. Rip. I'll tell you that much, yeah. Well, dope. I look forward to hearing more tales from... I was going to say the battlefield, but I guess... Well, Soul Calibur it. comes out Friday, and that's going to consume my soul. Oh, yeah. so. Well, well mm. all done. And then Rondo Blood comes out what? Is that this week? <sighs> no. The 17th? It, I thought that was the same day as RDR. It is. When's RDR? 26th. Yeah. Well, well, shoot. Week before Halloween. Yeah. Matt, what are you going to do this week? So, uh, I kind of just hinted at it. I had some electricity issues in my room. Where yeah. Where my computer is at. Um, they should now be offic- officially solved. Evidently, there was a loose wire going to the uh, circuit breaker. Nice. That would lose contact with the things it needs to make contact with. Uh, so, like... It was the like a back part of my room, and like even some of the circuits, like going down to the basement where the circuit breaker is, they would all fail randomly at times. And it, I thought it used to be my air conditioning and my computer being on at the same time. Nope, it was just that breaker. So while my dad was trying to diagnose that issue and figure out what the hell was going on, uh, it forced me to play my PlayStation. And if I'm playing anything on my PlayStation nowadays, it is Rocket League. And with that. I decided to buy the Rocket Pass on PS4. What is that? That's the $10, very similar to what Fortnite does with their Battle Pass mm-hmm. thing, where uh, you level up, you play, you gain experience, and you level up, and as you level up, you get different items or even things to contribute um, to discount possibly your next Rocket Pass next season or whatever. So like XP boost and all that? Yeah, yeah. and then uh, actually to... Uh, it's been the bracket pass itself has been out for a couple of weeks, but like Fortnite, like whatever, there's a free tier of it as well. So what's nice is I was already at probably what, level 15, 16, somewhere around there. As soon as I bought it, I got all the items in the premium part up to 15, That's wherever kind of I feeling. was. So yeah. it was nice. I, I bought it and then all of a sudden it started doing the ding, ding like everything started popping. Yeah. It, was, it felt pretty good. Um, so yeah, I played a lot of that, and plus this weekend, because now experience finally matters in that game for the first time ever, they did their first ever double XP weekend. Oh, that's cool. So they got the double XP, and then there's a premium boost to your experience as well to help you gain levels faster. So I was getting like times 250% whatever experience I was getting in the game. So uh, yeah, I was playing a lot of, a lot of Rocket League. Does that contribute to your battle pass too, the double XP? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, nice. It all it all goes there. So I'm unlocking items left and right. And like I said, what's nice is it's it's ten dollars, but the way to do it is those is that key system, which yeah, that kind of feels like garbage. That there's a key system, kind of think like Counter Strike. Yeah. Um, but what's what's nice is the premium tier does offer those keys as you at different various levels. So I might be able to get five keys this season, and that will if I don't spend the keys on boxes I have, which I won't. I, my next season's rocket pass will be five bucks instead of ten bucks or whatever. Yeah. So. But yeah, I've played a lot of Rocket League, and then I got my hands dirty mm-hmm. with a game I never thought I would get my hands dirty with. Uh, ben, I started playing Counter Strike Go. Oh, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. Not even just like playing it, just casually like competitive. I don't even know what to tell you right now. <laughs> Good old five hundred five or I don't know if I, I don't rounds. know if I should say that's awesome or I'm sorry. I don't even know anymore with Counter Strike. I know both feelings. Yeah. I know both feelings. Let's say, okay, with Counter Strike, you can hate the like the Fortnite fans to a degree, but the hatred I have for Counter Strike fans is probably worse than I have for Fortnite fans. Hmm. And I love Counter Strike. Yeah, Counter Strike players suck. They, they are and this, horrible. And I forgot to say this about Rocket League. There was some guy, and I actually ran into him twice. Oh, one time he was on my team in doubles. Then the next game he was on the other dude's team in doubles. What he would do is he would play for two minutes and then he would just sit idle and then start playing like for the other team. Then they get three v one, great competitively. And that was and at one point I thought, how the hell do I send that PS4 message error thing so I can fuck <laughs> fuck this guy's PS4? And then two, so I nice. even wrote into the chat I was like, damn, sometimes the Rocket League community is worse than the CS:GO one. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know. It's a tough battle with CS:GO. Yeah. Oh, do, do you like like? What's going on? I here? do. It's so good and bad and yeah. good and yeah. bad and good and bad. So uh, <laughs> I've gotten to the point now where I'm not very good at Counter Strike. I've barely dabbled with it in the past and it's never really with mouse and keyboard. And you know, in that game, headshot down. It's sometimes you just peek a corner. And yeah, then, especially AK. AK to the head's always it's yep. one bullet a headshot. Doesn't Don't even matter. bother buying a helmet. Yeah, it's a waste, it's a waste yeah. of time. Um, no, oh, yeah, I after two games of getting fucking yelled at for sucking so bad, I've decided I'm just gonna hit the push the talk button and just stay from the start. Hey, I'm sorry, I suck. I'm gonna try, and then from there I just get flamed. But at least they knew ahead of time that I suck. <laughs> the word the the thing I hate most about Counter Strike fans, and it is kind of like a meta thing of Counter Strike. It's when especially on ranked, if someone fucks up whether it's they didn't get to the bomb on time and defuse it or they didn't plant the bomb on time, they get kicked. Like, everybody on that team just kicks them. I oh. haven't ran into that bullshit yet of getting just kicked randomly. Yeah. I'm like, I've never even seen that happen to anyone, period, which is nice. At least I'm not getting kicked for some dumb reason. I've seen one kick, and that was because the dude was staying spawn for the first three rounds yeah. or whatever. Um, I... I like the core gameplay of Counter Strike though. Not even just the the shooting and the gunplay. Like the, that's one of those games where like a headshot feels like a headshot. Yeah. The, it, that it, it, and then it, it, right it behind great. it is Rainbow Six, and then just that dumb economy, just meta part of it where yeah. you have to play the economy. So have you have you guys played Counter Strike before? Yeah. Right. Like at least like com- like the round based competitive thing. I remember playing it like in middle school on a friend's pc but not like to a point where i just all i understood it for was like i'm moving the mouse and shooting dudes but i had no idea anything deeper than that so there is an economy like when you play competitively between rounds there's an economy thing so that way you're not just getting the weapons that you want to get like you have to win rounds to get more money than your enemy and with that with that more money like you you buy your weapons and then it gets into a thing of like well do we save as a team so that way we can buy like full on get grenades, guns, armor, defuse kits if you're on the mm-hmm. um the um counter terrorist? Yeah, the counter terrorist. Or like do you do like a half buy where you get like an SMG and maybe just go rushing into A and maybe just overwhelm the opponent, get a quick plant down and just hope for the best as someone's coming to like there the economy fucks with that game so much it and does. so I just like that that feeling of 
you win that pistol right now, you know you're good for two rounds. Like, you're just yeah. safe and secure because you're going to have that AK or that M4 and you're just going to fucking blow someone's head off as they're trying to hit you with their little Glock or Deagle or whatever. It's a fun uh, game. I'm not going to doubt it. Just the fans are fucking... Yeah, it's just... Assholes. Yeah, everyone sucks. Yeah. However, today, I finally I finally had some like good games where I was like one or two on the leaderboards. I played good. about three of them. But then, I don't know, this is only a thing until I get ranked, but this game is different so usually in like dota or in rocket league even like you play 10 games and then it ranks you accordingly win or loss and counter strike it requires you to get 10 wins before it ranks you oh but what this what halo style it's what's weird though is after you win one or two games in like a certain period of time like a four hour time period it puts you on a cooldown to kind of Get your ranking before it gives you a rank. So right now, I played about three games earlier today, and I won two of them. I'm now in a cooldown for the next 12 hours, kayfabe style, probably four hours, until uh, I can play another ranked game again. Because it's trying to monitor where my skill set is currently. That's weird. But I don't have a rank yet. Is that a normal Counter-Strike thing? I don't know. Is that new? I'll be honest, I barely played ranked. Yeah. I don't know. But so I, I just thought you. that was weird, but whatever. I'm on cooldown. They had a new gun. The silent submachine gun, MP5 SD, didn't they? I know there's the pistol, but I, uh, maybe there. I don't. I mean, I usually don't dabble SMGs. Whenever I buy an SMG, it's usually the little fucking like Mac 10 or the Ump 45. Yeah. And then, SMGs in that game are fun to use. Yeah, until the other teams got ops. <laughs> don't don't even you don't even want to hear me talk about ops. It's oh, and that's the other thing. Like when you kill a guy, like their weapons and stuff fly to the to the thing, and like after at the end of the round, you have about five to seven seconds. Like you could pick up that dude's gun and use it next round. Can't keep it forever and sell it on the marketplace. No, <laughs> no, no. But what you could do is pass that gun off to a teammate. Like if I picked up an op, I'm not good with them, but I know teammate A is good with them. I could save him $5,000, throw him the op, and I'll just buy my $3,100 gun. See, that's gun. smart. It's being a good guy. Like, I did that every because I fucking hate the op. I hate using it. Trash. You, shut up. Yeah, I'm not good with it. The only time I'm good with it is at, um, I like playing in heaven at Nuke, I believe, at Site A. If you Maybe you remember. I know exactly get, what you're talking about. I love that. <laughs> that's the other thing. I'm learning all the callouts now, and as I learn the callouts, I feel good. I'm like, <laughs> two in heaven? <laughs> One in crow's nest? <laughs> no, well that no, that would make sure. Three up. longs, three on long. <laughs> I've done it so many times. Like at the end of each round, like if I kill someone with an op, I was like, I'm not gonna use this, but I know someone in my team is. So like the end, of, at the start of the new round, I just press G and throw it on the ground. And well, see, even like, I'll even call, I'll, I'll even like push it. Like, I picked up an op. Who wants it? Yeah. I'm not good with it. And then someone calls for it. I'm like, all right. I love hitting that G button. You see yeah. the gun flying in the air. <laughs> And then whenever I spawn with the bomb, I just immediately throw it to the person next to me because I don't fucking want that shit. And it, it's funny when it's a hot potato of the bomb at the beginning of the round because nobody wants it. Just, just back and forth. I even seen it where like the hot potato happens and then it stops and then someone throws it back at spawn <laughs> and just leaves it there. Like, what the fuck? It's free now. Counter Strike. The, yeah, there's a CS:GO right? free version. I don't think the competitive stuff's free. I oh, think okay. like you can get. I don't even know what the free off. part of it is. I don't know. It said you can play through some Counter Strike through Go TV. I don't know. I think he's that guy. That, Go TV is he's that is, guy that's like the that watch song. tab in Dota within Counter Strike. Go C. Go TV. Oh, I thought you said Go C. You didn't have to. Two thousand eleven. <laughs> and then one last thing. This is it even like me playing a game. Well maybe it is playing a game, and maybe it's just the game's called Steam. I, I had probably my best accomplishment. Oh, I thought your accomplishment was that you played CSGO rank. Oh hell I no. that was the accomplishment. No. That's oh, no. No, playing oh, Dota no. ranks my bigger accomplishment. <laughs> so uh -oh. I, I started What's really happening? fucking around with like looking at my Steam library of not just games, but potential things to sell. What's happening? And I was looking at things. And I was like, oh, man, that's cool. An armor set in Dota is like 10 cents. No, sorry. Let me start here. I started with the trading cards. And I'm like, oh, that one's worth more than just 3 cents. That's cool. Let me sell that one. 
And then Counter Strike. Now that I'm starting to get things dropping in Counter Strike, whether it's crates or just random pieces of things, I clicked in that tab, and I was like, "Oh, dude, I can sell like this dumb spray for four cents." Yeah. I'm not gonna use a fucking spray. All right, cool. Sell that. And then for like the first time in a long time, I clicked on the Dota tab. I was like looking through my armor sets because I have a few now after like the battle pass and all that stuff and Dota Plus. I, I've gotten a, quite a few things. And there's some armor sets where like the pieces themselves might be 10 cents and then you combine them and it ends up being like a dollar. I was like, oh, that's fucking nice. And then I got to an item and I almost jumped out of my seat when I saw it. I had a Dota, like just a helmet piece for uh, a character. I'm sweating. Thing was, thing was worth $21. What? What? And I was like, "There's no him. way. There's no I'm way. There's no way." Because it was only like sixty sold at twenty one dollars in the last forty eight hours or whatever. I was like, "There's no way I could flip this for twenty one dollars." So I put it up, and then I got an email, less than an hour. You have sold an item in the community market. An item you listed in the community market has been, has been sold to Dirty Molly. Your Steam wallet has been credited at eighteen thirty nine. What did I fucking tell you guys? I get that's, these. That's where it is, man. That's I know. where it is. So I get these emails daily, but mine are always like, "You sold an item for three cents." I got one earlier today. You sold an item on the Steam Marketplace, oh and I was like, "Oh, dope! How much? Four cents." Yeah, I've it's never like, sold anything for more than a dollar. I think uh, one time I might have sold some card, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's see who's gonna pay five dollars." <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I think they did, did eventually. Yeah, it took a couple months, but some asshole bought it. The what hell? Did? did you call Dirty Molly? No. Ghost. She's hearing us. She's hearing us. So yeah, like right now, my Steam wallet after all this shit I've been selling, I had like twenty two fifty, and I'm like freaking out because I want to spend it. Like I, it's like I don't know what to do with myself. I've never had that much money in my Steam wallet that hasn't gone right away to a video game. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, man. It was good, doesn't it? Oh my god. I I got so excited. I showed Joe the next morning. But oh. but then he's Matt, he's trying to let it burn. He wants to burn it. And I told you that. That fall sale is like days away. It's got to be, right? Yeah, fall sale is coming up. It's funny that you months? two, you two kind of switched roles right there. I, I'm the sensible one with money, and he's the. But it was free money. It's not my money. It's some bullshit. I got. I earned at the Dota Battle Pass. That's more important money to me. The free money. The well, free money I, I don't mean, earn. Well, you paid for the Battle Pass. The shit I work for, I want to burn however I want to burn it. I did, it. but I still need a profit on it. I think I only paid like yeah. five bucks for the actual Battle Pass. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. God, but yeah, dude, I'm 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 you're making great. money in the Steam marketplace. And now you're playing fucking CS Go ranked. You're gonna have all those leopard skin. I can't wait, man. Sell. I hope so. <laughs> I might buy some keys with that shit and unlock some crates so that way. Not see now. I'm starting to play like stocks. You got to invest oh, some to make more oh, money. Oh boy. See, I did. I went down that train and when I was in Jersey. Money. It was like every Friday. I was like, fuck it. Let's go buy some keys, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was like 10.30 at night, a couple beers in. I'm like, whoa, rolling that dice. Drank I got some, shit, man. Uh, <laughs> drank some keys, bought some keys. <laughs> <laughs> that was done, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was more important to me than fucking playing Counter-Strike. That's or the greatest story I've heard all month. Of Rocket Pass. That, that is so amazing. I get so happy because I've heard... I think Akko actually sold like an op skin for a like, hundred bucks. God on damn! Steam. That's no. The, remember I the, mean, it exists. I've seen yeah. it all the time in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like, what a fucking idiots gonna spend hundred bucks on it? No, our our friend James we worked with sold a fucking gun skin for three hundred and fifty dollars. Fuck you! It was like close to four. Or Whoever something. bought it, that better have been the game they have played for over twenty years. I don't even. Fucking I don't even know how old Counter Strike is. I don't care. But, like, that better be the only game you I play. I think he did it and put a down payment on his fucking it. engagement ring he was buying his wife. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah. He, yeah, he, like, I remember sitting in his fucking basement and he was like, dude, look at this shit. And I was like, fuck off. That was my first exposure to actually, because you see it, it's like four cents. Like, fuck you. And he was like, no, dude, there's a whole market for this shit. And showed me all these videos of people that were, like, coming over buying this fucking leopard skin. I mean, you do pick up an all from tiger. time to time. Like, oh, dude, that looks dope. And then... Like I guess if you were, if you were to follow that up, that's but probably it ain't the one Nintendo that's like Switch full price dope. No, that's what I'm saying. Like you go to look at the thing, like 
I would pay two ninety nine, like two dollars and ninety nine cents for that skin, and then sure. you look it up and it's like two hundred and fifty dollars on the marketplace, and you're like, ah, it's all right. <laughs> I don't even want to buy the Hotline Miami two vinyl because it's three hundred. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of money, man. So there's so thing. Dirty Molly's out there running around like an asshole as a Phantom Assassin with some weird orange and blue neon glowing thing as Dirty a helmet. Dirty Molly probably didn't even use her money. That's I would get so triggered when I would play Counter-Strike and people like, anybody want to trade knife skins? Knife skins! Anybody want to trade knife skins? <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love oh that. God. <laughs> they, got a, they got a stadium. Oh, get boy. your knife skins! <laughs> oh my god, fuck off. God, knife skin is a really, really, what? really good term. <laughs> Ooh, shit, I love that a lot. Fuck. Wait, Ben, when do, you, when do you like to hear it? Because I've heard it at a couple of different spots. Do you want to hear it right at the beginning, at halftime, or at the very end of the game? <laughs> I don't want any of it. I want to just... Fuck. I remember when they introduced the whole spraying thing. Because spraying used to be a thing in Counter-Strike. You, you'd just be able to upload your own picture. So people right, would just right. do like... And then, like, every, Porno, and like, yeah. <laughs> gifts or whatever. And like, every Valve game started incorporating yeah. that. Yeah. And then they did it now in Go, where you buy skins. Yeah, I've sold a couple for sprays. three cents. Yeah. Can, can you upload your own knife skin? No. <laughs> God damn it. How do you skin a knife skin? With a knife. <laughs> Skinned or skinless? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Just knife skin. Take on my lip. I almost bought a bunch of loot boxes this week. Almost, and then I talked myself out of it. Overwatch. Yeah, I've done it. I was gonna buy fifty of them though. Excuse me? <laughs> There's a deal. You That's buy not 50. a deal. Yeah. That's a fucking full video game. That's not <laughs> a deal. <laughs> and you're not guaranteed to get shit. How much were these loot boxes? Forty dollars for for fifty, but you get a ten bonus, so it's forty dollars for sixty of them. Did you say, did you say? <laughs> yeah, no, you said it. Bonus, dude. <laughs> I'm I'm legit triggered right now. Uh, oh, Forty dollars for you, loot crates. I can't. Judge. Really? I think five minutes after my proud moment on Steam, and when I told him that, he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna spend sixty bucks on a <laughs> fucking loot box." I'm like, "What are you doing, I, dude? Sombra's got a fucking Bride of Frankenstein skin." I'm over here making fun of leopard skin knife skins. I'm legit dude. about to punch myself in the face, dude. $40. <laughs> I didn't do it. I did not do it. I looked at it and I was like... He paid 80. <laughs> <laughs> paid 80. I got 120. <laughs> got 120 bonus skins. And you're probably sober. I'm like, you at least you're a few keys deep and biting oh, yeah, keys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, dude. That is... God. <laughs> no, like seriously, all I have to do is just keep playing a couple rounds to get enough coins yeah, and yeah. then just pay for it that way. Oh, I think it's a like a legendary one. So it's like oh, the legendary. So yeah, you have to roll for it or whatever. No, you can, or, you can buy it. It's, it's just, just expensive. It's a lot. Of, yeah. yeah. And the thing right now is, me and Joe are kind of just hopping into it. And yeah. So like, everything we're getting is not duplicates. It's all new. So that's not helping either. The point I made when I thought about it, the point I made internally and then again to Matt, is you don't even fucking see it. You see it at your loading screen, and that's well, it. When you do taunts. I don't do taunts. I barely even know how to use a fucking keyboard, let alone taunt somebody. So, are you playing this on PC? And then when you oh, win, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. probably talking on PS4. Yeah, right. No, both the battle net, the same there. one where you launch the shield. <laughs> if yeah. you get, if you get, <laughs> what is it? Uh, play player the game. Of the play, they play the game. There's that animation. I know, I know. But yeah, you're right. You mostly just. Don't That's why I'm not gonna spend real money on it. But I found other ways to do. It. So the Halloween <laughs> stuff's live. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So forty dollars of. When you said you were gonna spend forty dollars, did you, did you mean oh, yeah. actual oh, yeah. actual money? George I looked Washington's? at it. I looked at it and I considered it because I it, it, it was Ben. I I paid probably around almost twenty bucks for an Isabel Shrine in it's Mitomo. True. It's true, and that's just that. I've put more money into Mitomo than that. Yeah, but at least I'm he, not proud of it. Well, but Mark, at least you home. could. I'm calling the authorities and I'm going home. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, at <laughs> least with rigged. Mark, he could control what he was going to do with that wall space. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I could. Hold on. There was a lot of skins you could see. If, you know what I mean? Rather, when EA makes Skate 4, and then they tell you you have a chance of getting a fucking motorhead board for a loot box, not you wouldn't I'm be. Paying. I'm not. Empty. I wouldn't pay $40. Tempted. They better make an option just upload. Yes, well, that's the art. thing. I looked at it and it was like, oh, I could spend three dollars for one loot box, or <laughs> anyway, I didn't fucking buy it. The Halloween stuff's out. <laughs> the Halloween stuff's real good. And by real good, I mean it's all fucking spooky, which is what everything needs to be mm -hmm. all the time. Yes. Um, 
There's a mode called Junkenstein's Revenge, which is new to me, but not new to anyone else. But if it's new to you, it is a... Uh, it's, it's wave after wave of enemies with random drop-in appearances by other Overwatch characters in their Halloween costumes. And yeah, you survive, you get a loot box. Or you don't because you already beat it and you can't get more than one loot box for beating it. But um, it's there. It's fun. Um, I did it twice, three times now. I don't think I need to do it again. Uh, but I've been playing more and more of that because uh, I want to get to ranked and just see how toxic that community is. And I'm, uh, I think I'm level 13 or 14 now. So I'm getting, I'm like 10 levels away ish from hitting that. So how many hours would you roughly say you got in this game? Maybe 20. When did you start playing it? Two weeks ago. Roughly? Two weeks ago. You're already Somewhere. halfway to my total. <clears throat> and I've had the yeah. game for two years. Yeah, you play, you play more than I have. I, I like it. So it's like, again, like going into it, I did the first time I played it, I did the, the exact same thing you did, Ben. Um, and even returning to it now on PC, I did the exact same thing I did and you did and we all did is try and play it like a first person shooter, uh, oh, yeah. like TDM, go in, murder, whatever. And there is a team deathmatch, right? Like you can go in and do that. Um, and it's fun, but the standard mode, zh, the hell? I'm not sure what that is. Um, the standard modes are, uh, it's a MOBA. Right, like you are. There's an objective you must take out, so you need to work as a team. It is a team-based game, and that's the thing. Like team deathmatch, especially I've been playing, um, or having been playing Quake over the last few months. Playing Quake, even though you're team deathmatch, you still just kind of bounce around the fucking stage until you run into someone that's red and you shoot them. Right, like it's it just is what it is this you need to rely on your teammates to to get shit done so learning that and and you know getting better at it and practicing it um i'm getting good i know i'm nowhere near where i need to be or could be but like you can i can feel myself getting better which is nice and i got fucking the this badass play of the game the other day and it felt so i knew it too it was one of the payload missions so you need to get on the payload and ride it around it yeah yeah you gotta ride it from a to b a couple checkpoints along the way we were in the final push to get it right to the the goal and their whole team was on our payload and we all kind of fell back it's like ah shit i was like well here we go so i had my ultimate i was playing as diva and her ultimate is just to self-destruct the the big mech i shift uh left shift boosted in Pulled the ultimate, jumped out, and as I jumped out and I'm landing, I'm shooting some dude in the fucking mouth, and then everything blows up. Team wipe. Play oh, yeah. And I could feel it was going to be play of the game. I was like, there's no way, because that was the team wipe that got feeling. us to it's a good feeling. the win. I was like, fuck yeah. It was good. And I just saw the, like, commendations popping up, and it's like, ah, oh, this feels good. I forgot Call of Duty does that now. They commendations. They have the play of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the round. Yeah. It makes you feel good when you yeah. get that. You're like, oh, shit, all right. Yeah. This is all right. Like, eat that. Yeah. Y'all suck. Yeah, I'm ready it's... to play competitive. <laughs> um, Can we, um, not to interrupt you, but when we finally all start playing our different things competitively, you know, you Call of Duty, of course. You uh, Overwatch. Who the fuck knows what I'll play? You RDR. You Soul Calibur competitive, man. I'm, I'm full steam ahead. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Um, <laughs> say RDR. Yeah, sure. Because that's going to have an eSport because everything does. We should just open the show sense. instead of our, our our little tune. We just open with Toxicity by uh, System of a Down, because <laughs> that's where all these communities are. They're mm-hmm. all just fucking toxic. It has, all, to be, it has to be the Mario Paint version. Stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found that in a parking lot once. Mario Party. Mario Paint. Oh. You said Mario Paint, right? Yeah. Yeah, I found that, and uh, we were skating right before Mission Barbecue. Uh, there was a complete in box Mario Paint dang. mouse and everything. You think it came from that blockbuster? What? No, it was just, it was way past blockbuster. It was just yeah. like chilling in like the parking lot in a bag. Huh. I'm like, all right, no doubt, no doubt. You probably stole someone's drugs. No, I, was I like, checked. I was like, what happened? <laughs> I was like, what happened to it? Did did it get a good I, home? It's, it's it, I took it to my house and it and then beat it with a sledgehammer. That's the last I remember. It was it was when I sold to my parents. I don't know what happened to it, but Damn. I just remember it. Yeah, it was there. Good shit. Yeah, Overwatch is fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's one of those things where, like, I know, like, I've I've not had a lot of time. I'm really excited to go on vacation in a couple of weeks. But is that gonna uh, replace your love of Quake? 
No, that's the thing. Like halfway through playing Overwatch, I jump back into Quake just to like feel it again. Because mm-hmm. Matt was talking about one game he did really well in Overwatch after having come off of CS:GO, and I was like, okay, let me let me get back to this. And and I jumped in, did a couple rounds of Quake. Um, Quake may have had some big changes too. Like jumping back into Quake feels not that far off from playing Overwatch in terms of like the menus. Like mm. you load it up and it's got quick play, it's got arcade, like it's almost identical to I think it might be actually identical. Um to Overwatch. Except it's all Quake, so it's fucking blood. I mean Rocket League and... now when you think yeah, about it. Everything's like that just too. everything's the same. Um which is I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Games are weird. They sure are. And everything uh, went tile. Huh? Everything. No, that main menu stuff. Everything's gone tile. Like yeah. I think like Battlefield has done that. Yeah, everything's left to right instead of up to down. I have the list, man. That's one a list. Yeah. I like yeah. the list. Mobile. That's what fucking happened. You got to fill up that whole screen on someone's phone as they hold it in horizontal. The mode. fucking tiles ruin a lot of franchise modes. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Tiles? What are you talking about? Like, like like a main boop, menu boop, boop, in a video game. Instead of listing out like your menu on the left hand side of the screen. Yeah, everything's just Windows ten. Like Dude, brick. that is weird. Because yeah. Call of Duty does that shit. Sure too. does. Everything it fucking does. does. Everything does. That is or, weird. Or is I never tabs. thought about that. It's because of fucking phones. That's what happened. Yeah, I um, like that. So Matt forgot something. Matt played something else this this week. It's called Super Mario Party. Ugh. And I have footage of Matt smiling while playing Super. He's doing it now. <laughs> yeah. If you will see <laughs> when it goes up, not to spoil the the video, but when you see the trail of characters follow Mark's character, that's pretty good. You I can't, can't help but to video. laugh. It's pretty good. Had a pretty good posse. I can't wait yeah. to watch this video. Um, but no, so a couple things with, with Super Mario Party. Um, I played more of it, and it's still Super Mario Party. That's all I really wanted to say about that. Um, I jumped back into Forza a little bit. Seasons changed over to winter. Um, yeah, I I enjoy that game a lot still. I, if you're looking for a racing game and you have Game Pass or you don't have Game Pass or whatever. This is a stupid question. Did Gran Turismo ever come out on PS4? Gran Turismo Sport Sports. came out on PS4. So it's not even like a Gran Turismo. It's technically, bless you, it's technically one, but yeah. And there were some weird things with that. Yeah. It's the person. I love Gran Turismo. Uh, and then the only other thing I, I really played was The Binding of Isaac After Birth Plus. Oh. Yeah, I bought it on Switch. It was on sale. That game came out like a month after launch of the Switch, <laughs> and I kept almost always buying it, but it was always 40 bucks, and I had played so much of it on PS4 and Vita that I didn't... Not that the $40 wasn't justified. It was just like... Well, if I have forty bucks to spend, I might as well spend it on like a new experience than something or I kind of already boxes, know. You know. Or loot boxes. So uh, it was on sale, and I was like, "Well, I can't not." I always said internally in my brain, "I'll buy it when it's on sale." And I bought it like a month ago, and I've been slowly toying away with it. But this week, I actually put a good chunk of time into it. Um, Is that game like like Zelda, like Zelda One? So yeah, I mean, like like tile dungeon. It, thing. I mean, it's the it's inspired by it. But yeah, it's yeah. like procedurally generated. It's it's the same way that, you know, Super Meat Boy SMB uh is like Super Mario Brothers, right? Super Meat Boy is is to Super Mario Brothers as The Binding of Isaac is to okay. The Legend of Zelda. But yeah, it's not it, it's what I like about it is it is a everything's procedurally generated. It's random each time, so you're kind of it's run based. Um you never know what you're going to get. Like you might jump in and the very first room you drop into is right next to an item room and you walk in, and you get this badass item mm-hmm. or you go through stage by stage and every item you get is something that fucking hurts you um, and doesn't actually help you. But it's just fun, man. Cause I bought it like, like during one of the first steam sales when that game was out and it's just, it's been sitting there in my library. Never touched I it. I think you'd like it. I mean, it's, it, it's a twin stick shooter. Yeah. Um, or you can play it with face buttons, whatever you want to do. It's, it's versatile like that. But um, I play it just kind of pushing up, left, right, down to shoot whichever direction. Afterbirth Plus, a little bit different. The one that came out on um, PlayStation back when it did was Rebirth. And this has added so many more characters and so many more items and 
bosses. Uh, bosses. And the way the bosses load, too. So traditionally, all the boss rooms in the older version, they were all in the standard-sized room. Now they've got bosses that'll show up in these narrow rooms that are about a half the size. You really don't have much room to run around, which can get fucky. But, yeah, get it's... Fucky. Having that on Switch, like, it's... I don't know. I, I I played a lot on Vita and having it on Switch again. I like having I like having things on Switch. I'm happy that Super Mario Party got me to pick up my Switch again. Hmm. That's kind of you know what I mean. It was yeah. just like Switch has been sitting there, and I'm like, I run through that list in my head of like, what do I where do I want to play? And it's like Switch is not there. Well, did you technically pick up your Switch for Mario Party? For, no, but <laughs> I turned on the thing and then wanted to pick it up and play Mario Party and couldn't, so once it was in my hands, like, well, what can I play? Um, but yeah. Wasn't there, like, a, a multiplayer add-on for Binding of Isaac? Am I wrong? So, it's like yes and no. There's, like, a pseudo co-op mode. Okay. Where um, Isaac will get, like, a little hover dude that, like, shoots. Kind of just, just, just a little add-on. And the second person can control that little dude, but it takes a heart away from Isaac, gives it yeah. to you, and that's pretty much all you can do. You can't pick up any items. You can go over holes and whatever, but yeah, that's about it. Hmm. No, I'll just. I, I it's like the equivalent of the. Uh, it's like a little brother mode. Having the star thing in Super Mario Galaxy. Um, there was a few months ago. Yeah, it's like a um, tails. What's his face? Tails. Uh, Miles. Edmund McMillan. He fucking Miles. <laughs> Edmund McMillan was teasing some sort of multiplayer thing for Binding of Isaac, like, in the summer. And it ended up being a Kickstarter for a card game, mm. which I'm fucking really stoked about. I forgot to back it in time. But he's going to be selling that. And that's a physical-ass card game where you're doing the Binding of Isaac, but with cards. Uh, it's a whole multiplayer thing. And that makes me think, right, like... As a creator, if you're someone who sits down and you make this game single-player experience, you spin it out into a multiplayer card game um, influenced by the, the thing you made, how does that then influence the next iteration of mm. Isaac? So I, I wouldn't be surprised if one day there is a full-ass dungeon crawler that's multiplayer, but yeah. Uh, cool. Bring back Four Swords. Dude, I love Four Swords. Never played it. Four Swords is dope. Never played it. I'll tell you what I did play. Music! As we go into this break before we come back and talk about news. Here we are. This is news. Nothing rhymes with the R. Think about it. What? Knife skin. Let's talk about mood news. <laughs> Project X Cloud. Got to be a better name. Microsoft announced it's last week. We talked about Google Chrome streaming Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And now Project X Cloud will begin public trials in 2019. Basically, Microsoft is trying to get cloud gaming up and running. Huh. Oh, because Xbox, X Cloud. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I mean, so that's just streaming, right? Like streaming the game? Is that what it's talking about? Yeah. I mean, yeah, the idea, the, the thing they show in their video is your phone on a mount on your Xbox controller and you're playing Forza. Kind of like an NVIDIA Shield? Yeah, like you can... Doesn't matter oh which which device you have, yeah. you just hook a fucking controller up to it and play whatever you want. Hmm. Uh, look, man, I said it last week with the Assassin's Creed thing. I'm down for this. I just I don't because think about it, right? Like we do that with movies now, and I'm, I'm sure if I don't even know how many years because I don't. There's no time doesn't matter. But at some point, if we had said. Yeah, man, we're never going to have fucking DVDs or, or film. You're going to sit down and you're going to just press a button and everything streams over the internet like the radio. Be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, now it seems weird to try and play a game over the internet, but 
We do it with fucking Netflix. I would have no problems doing it. Just I'm, we need the infrastructure. Yeah. If the, yeah, I mean, make if it's it there, work, right? Whether whether it's on the streaming end where like they can make it work with what we have, or you know, if our if our Comcast and Verizon's of the world yeah. need to improve their their shit, or if they need to meet halfway, or if it's possible now, it, well, if it so works, let's do it. Well, but, the pricing's decent too. What do you think about Game Pass, right? I, I would see something like Game Pass just turning into this, where you, you just stream it. But like, like I'm thinking maybe it could be something more like uh, Amazon Video or Microsoft Store type thing, where it's like instead of doing a monthly service, you can just do three ninety nine for a couple days or sure, whatever, sure. and that's it. You know, no, no contracts or oh, like wait, like PlayStation Now. See this? That's exactly. It's funny because I, I, it, I was no. I'm, I'm having this internal debate in my head. I'm it's like, already there. It, it's... Yeah, that's what they did. I don't know why it didn't click. It's because the library sucked and the, it was too expensive. That's why it sucked. PlayStation did it weird though because yeah. the way they pitched that originally, it was like you have all this catalog and you can play it all whenever. We have all these plans and it was just a. Yeah, it, 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 there are a good number of games in there. But the way this approach yeah. is, like you said, it was playing through your phone, playing forwards to through your phone. Yeah, that's right, like right, the right, next right. step. So it's of not, this. yeah, it's not specifically tied to the console. The console. Yeah. See, like for Google, I think it makes sense a lot because you have something that plugs into your fucking TV called a Chromecast, and you right. have, um, you know, like every computer can download Google Chrome, like right. whether it's Mac or a PC. You know, the Xbox, there is a little bit more entry you need to get to it. Like you need to have an Xbox you know to do that or or in for microsoft studio games a, a pc that can handle that um it, it i think it's kind of more important for microsoft in a way so that way they can get a, a broader audience i mean can you imagine if you just open up your phone you opened your xbox app where you've already got everything else your friends list your achievements you, you and i'm playing halo store, infinite and you're playing halo infinite while you're on your fucking break like, that's fucking dope. i don't think i want to do that though on it's, a phone? Maybe, think about I don't it. know. It depends what modes there are. I mean, it probably wouldn't be the preferred choice. Yeah. No, but, right? Like, but given the option, it's like, well, this is the best I can do it's right now in this situation. Right. It could be convenient. Maybe. You're, you're in the middle of uh, the Wi-Fi. You're screaming at a Coke freestyle machine wondering why they all taste like shit. And while you're waiting on your food, you're like, fuck this. I'm going to play a quick round of whatever. So does that mean you just have to carry a controller with you everywhere? Yeah, or they start making smaller controllers, or who the fuck knows, right? But like that, I don't know. That, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I've definitely have tried to bring a, my computer and my com- and my controller to work when I was trying to do the PlayStation streaming thing from my home. Yeah, you console. were playing Bloodborne, farming blood vials in the fucking break. Yeah, room. and that's what I would do when like when like I knew I was at a boss fight. I would I had a certain path that I would just run in the in the break room of work and just get all the blood vials. Son of a bitch. That I need it. Because then it's like, does it have to be an Xbox controller? Can it just be any Bluetooth controller? Because then the Ape do would come in perfect. Or well, they make know, a new where... Xbox style controller that would be, right? Like, yeah. more compact. You and... do some more like a Joy Con, you know, if you really want to go down that route. Yeah. I mean, they're willing to do it. You saw that with the accessibility controller just did. Yeah. So. This is scary. I don't think it's scary. I, I, don't I, just, I just don't know what's... I, don't, I just don't think it's feasible now, or at least yeah. the way we think of it. Because we think of PlayStation now in that two second lag, which is you know some games like an XCOM you can pull that off with but then there's your Street Fighters yeah, and your Soul no Calibers that you can't do that with stuff like that. I don't, I, I, the only thing I ever did on PlayStation Now was an Adventure Time <sighs> game it was like a dungeon crawling Adventure Time game and I didn't it, it did not feel any different yeah, I than mean, playing a video game think about it as an evolved end gauge dude, dude end gauge is fucking dope. dead dude. <laughs> <laughs> Guerrilla Games has been acquiring talent from Ubisoft's Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege team. Who Guerrilla be? Horizon. Oh, no doubt. Or also Killzone. Killzone. Um, so maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe there's another Killzone on the way. Killzone I Battle like, Royale. Killzone Siege. Killzone was probably my favorite first-person shooter. Killzone Infinite. Like, series. I mean, oh, I've only played the first one. I didn't play the PS3 one. I never played them. They never... PS2 one was dude. Yeah. I always wanted to. It was like one of the first games where you could lean mm-hmm. yeah. and bake a grenade. Yeah. That was a fun At game. At that time. 
It also ran at like a solid 10 FPS, but it was cool. Yeah, that's yeah, true. but that E3 demo looked great. No, that was a PS3 version. But that actual E3 in-game looked... footage. Yeah, <laughs> it looked great. Did you ever hear the story behind that? Did I? I think I watched a video about it. It was. Uh, I think they talked Maybe. about it in, in the Danny O'Dwyer thing when he interviewed them. Yes, that's where I saw yeah. it. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't intend for that to ever happen. They were doing cool shit, and then PlayStation was like, "Oh, you're." The, the other the executives like oh you're gonna make that right and they're like the fuck but no they're just, they just making a tech demo yeah they were making a tech hmm. demo and then someone... that's a funny theme for ps3 lately uh, oh, yeah lately. well <laughs> no i know and then they they put it on stage and they called it something else and everyone at gorilla was like the fuck what that's not Ugh. yeah sorry they went on to make horizon zero dawn we're fine uh Borderlands 2 VR is coming to PlayStation VR. If you need another PlayStation device to play that so game. So what's weird here is Borderlands, you need to think of, oh, I get to play with my friends on a campaign. And then you read the details and it's single player only. Which huh. I, I mean, played I, I played no two hours of Borderlands 2 by myself and said, yeah, nope, I'm done. I love Borderlands 2. I don't know if I want to do it in did VR. Did you play though. with your friends though? Yeah. Yeah, you see, I only did it with yeah. friends. Yeah, I did both. I I, mean, I couldn't get into that. the The shooting didn't wasn't good enough to keep me for by myself. The thing, I, this is, do you just use a Dual Shock Four as you're playing? Uh, I, I would assume I, so because if you're using the Move controllers, that's messy. I want to say they said how the movement was. I just forgot because hmm. I do not want to teleport everywhere. Oh, Doom style. Oh my god! No. Yeah, whatever happened to that Doom VR? What was the other one? Fallout VR? Well, they bundled Skyrim it. VR in your PS4 VR package. Skyrim mode was actually pretty okay. Well, Sky like the ones you go walk around in Skyrim and Fallout, like that makes sense. It works. Yeah, Doom. Yikes! Mm. Some changes coming to Pokemon Go. Migration changes. So adjustments to weather. They're going to make sure that it has a reduced effect on the rate at which Pokemon appear. Certain areas like parks and nature reserves will now contain more varied Pokemon species. CP values will be adjusted going forward to improve game balance. This is game balance. Excuse me. This is very important if you've been banking all of those uh, 666 and 420 CP Pokemon. So, I forgot to say Yeah, but they're all going to get re-rolled, um, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know if this means that, like, if you've got a perfect IV, whatever, and you've been holding on to it, if that's all going to change. I don't know. That seems to be what it... I feel like I would have seen more about that on, like, Reddit or something from people who really care. Uh, And then, of course, most importantly out of this week's community note, the fourth generation of Pokemon is officially on its way. Uh, Seemingly very soon. It should yeah. be today, right? I fucking hope so, man. I mean, they had a trailer. They've had trailers. Um, one of the things that was a long time theory was that as the so there were eight versions, variations of Spinda in the game, and by the time we hit number one, it would be time for Gen Four. Well, number one, it sat on like three for the longest time, and now I saw number one hmm. in the Pokedex. So. Uh, theoretically, any day now. Didn't they say something be... about nests or nesting? Yeah, that's the the migration thing. So is like that the, what it is? They're gonna change how. Um. Like as you explore a given area, you will notice that a greater variety of Pokemon species will appear over time and at different rates. So I'm hoping that means that like, if you frequent the same spots, you're not always that's gonna what I see took the it same. Because like. That's been the the really shitty is I'm, when there's not an event happening, all I see are fucking Whismers. And I don't give a fuck. I really see Whismers. Yeah. They should incorporate how, uh, kind of like how Gold and Silver did it, where sometimes in the very early morning, there's a bug catching contest. It's yeah. Really just only like bug Pokemon. I mean, they kind of do it with the ghost Pokemon. You see them more at night. Yeah. So you know, that's kind of neat. But I, yeah, it's just, Take that, take that a little further with, like, you can only get them at this certain time of day. Like, yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. I like the, I like the idea of the nesting because, like, I, I don't play it nearly at all anymore. Mm. But occasionally I go to a spot at lunch where I 
where I would sit, I'm between three Pokestops. It would be nice if I dropped a lore or one of the Pokestops if I started seeing some different shit bes- besides a Whismur or yeah, a it's... Pidgey or whatever. There should yeah. be different kinds of lore, too. Yeah, That'd be cool. But, yeah, you know. kind of like bait for fishing, you know what I mean? Or whatever. Yeah, let me throw it in a dragon lore. Need some fucking jutinis. But then it's I like, like that. but then you go to one of those events where everybody's fucking everywhere and you see like three to say, like, damn it, they're all fucking dragon lords. I don't yeah. need it. We'd never be happy. <laughs> well, I'll throw down a pigeon lord. I don't need them. Yeah. God, yeah. Fuck I need. you. I need more pigeons. Man. Sources state Microsoft is close to buying Obsidian. Oh, boy. Is Did that I? what it is now? I am real sorry, Mark. I just noticed that you posted that, and then I posted that. We, we, we've we all been doing that. I know. I, it, it's just, it's it's fine. Oh, because <laughs> you posted it while I was at work, and then I was fucking Didn't you drowning. have the PSN names last week, too? Then I post over top of you? I think Ben posted. Well, wait, PSN names. Uh, I got so excited. I just hit share, share, <laughs> share. Might have, share, 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 share. might have been three of us. Share. PSN names is this week. Wait, what? Anyway, Microsoft is close to buying Obsidian, according to Kotaku. One person with knowledge of the deal told Kotaku mm. they'd heard it was 90% finished, said a second person it's a matter of when, not if. Y'all know Obsidian, right? Ben? Yeah, what about them? New Vegas? Yeah, they're great. I'm saying, is this what console people are going to do now? Just buy off companies? Maybe, right? But I think this is kind of cool. It's a portfolio move. Yeah, for sure. And you you think about Obsidian, like a lot of the studios that Microsoft just purchased and announced back at E3, not that they, they're all great make like uh, moves, right? They they bought Playground, who's been making their Forza Horizon series, they and is likely going to be making their new Fallout reboot. They bought um, there's a whole bunch of fucking no, studios. not Fallout. You mean what did I say? You mean Fable? Sorry, yeah, Fable. I'm saying Fallout uh, reboot. I'm no, like, oh, I need, could you pick my head? Like, who's doing a Fallout sorry, reboot? Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Fable reboot. Um, they bought Ninja Theory, right behind uh, Hellblade. They bought whatever, but this is like like Obsidian is. Obsidian's big, man. Yeah. Yeah. Obsidian. You'd be getting the Neverwinter Nights games, Pillars of Eternity. That's crazy. So I mean, they did well. This they did the second Knights of Old Republic. Yeah. And published. Wait, developed? Yeah, developed the uh, Stick of Truth. Oh yeah, they did develop that. Yeah. Uh, so a Microsoft spokesperson said, "We do not comment on rumors or speculation." Where an Obsidian spokesperson said, "Unfortunately, <laughs> we don't comment on rumors or speculation, other than to say that the rumors album by Fleetwood Mac still holds up." God damn it's good right. album. It's it's a, it's fucking, a, I like that little spin. Yeah. It's a great album. It's good. It's a good album. Developers of popular battle royale game Ring of Elysium say the game is not stealing user data despite claims on the internet. I think we said right here on the on air that the launcher pops up and it just looks like it's like, what is malware. that? Malware. <laughs> yeah, it looks like malware. It doesn't look good. Yeah, so it was Tencent? Ten, Tencent. Yeah. So... All games look like that. Like, ooh. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll play that MOBA. This. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they claim it's not. I don't know. I, it was enough for me to delete it. I didn't even think about it. But I once they, it. Once Whatever. they said... I mean, I didn't notice anything different. I was just like, uh, I'm not playing this enough anyway. They had to say that, though. Like, they just can't have word on the street be like, all right, well, this shit st- mining your computer for data. Like, you just can't sit back and just let that be the That's what yeah, Discord the thing. does. Right? Uh, Discord does the same thing. What? Sell your data? Everyone sells your data. Yeah. So, hell, Discord mines my computer for launchers i'm just gonna start saying- yet i can't find the fact that i have fucking overwatch installed son of a bitch oh, about- oh sorry i don't launch from there anyway stick it to the man you know you Battle put man. a shortcut through steam Vegeta. oh yeah dude well, well, overwatch, yeah, you, dude. overwatch you can you have to put them battle net but damn you bet your ass i put a counter-strike <laughs> shortcut on there uh Red meat dota <laughs> an historical moment happened this week Sid Schumann, director of social media for PlayStation, posted 
We're happy to announce that we will soon begin testing the long-awaited feature that will allow users to change their PlayStation Network online ID from their PlayStation 4 system. The PSN online ID change feature beta will be a part of the PlayStation preview program and will become available to select users that have pre-registered as testers for previous PS4 system software betas. During the preview program, you will be able to change your online ID as many times as you want. The first change is free, and changes after that will cost $9.99. For PlayStation Plus members, it will cost $4.99 after the first change. Why is it a beta? It seems like... what, And it's kind of what we've said for a while. Um, but it seems like... Because they go into some further details here. The PlayStation is going to be doing basically what Steam does. Where your username is still your username. They're but just going to put an alias just a, atop it. Like a vanity name, whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see the other... Well... And then, and then to pay for that? Well, Xbox does that. Yeah, Xbox does it too. But Xbox it's not a vanity is, thing. But You're Xbox changing is changing your, whole, your name. whole name. Oh, well. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, charging for a vanity And this, thing? I don't think they're positioning it as a vanity thing. It says you will, when you, no, well, when you change your online ID, you will have the option to display your previous ID with your new ID so your friends can recognize you. Once you decide to display your old ID or not, you won't be able to adjust this after completing the online ID change process. Not all games and applications for PS4, PS3, and PS Vita systems are guaranteed to support the online ID change, and users may occasionally encounter issues or errors in certain games. So that seems like what it is, right? Because I'm sure their net code was built in a way that, again, it needed to know that yep. the exact confines of your username were logging in, and the fact that you're changing that is going to break some shit. I guess I'm just wondering if this was something that just could have been handled in-house and not needing other people to test it out. So, all right, so to answer that question that you asked about why is this a beta, the preview program has been a thing for the last year and a half that you could be a part of. I never heard this, of it. Yeah, so every software before the actual update hits real servers goes through this beta program. So it sounds mm -hmm. like this is going to be part of like the next bigger update, and that's yeah. why the this is going to go through that beta thing. Okay. It's, it's not just see... like a beta thing they're doing just to do it. It's just part of a thing they've been doing for a year and a half. Thank you. Yeah. However, their infrastructure, I swear to God, is held together by hot glue and paper mache. <laughs> And we're just now trying to douse oil on this now all of a sudden. No wonder this shit. I, all right. So one, I, be, I will believe the name changes when I see it. Because I'm still not convinced this is going to work. And two, bet your ass I am staying away from PSN for at least a week when this goes live. Because oh, yeah. it's going to be on fire and yeah. it's not going to work. And then who knows? The freaking hacker group might take it down again just to be like, fuck you guys from what you did to us eight years sure. ago or whatever. Yes. Well, I thought it'd be fun to scroll a little bit past the article into the comments section and just pull out some usernames that might be changing soon. Yo Daddy 811 Not too bad. Trap Boy Rob. <laughs> Cubby Lover. I should keep that one. Should have been Chubby Lover. <laughs> Chub Love 69. Chub Love. <laughs> iMods. These are not bad. Yeah, they're not <laughs> I was that bad. expecting a lot worse. I'm going to try to change mine to the free cheese before Joe can. <laughs> Don't give people <laughs> fucking ideas. I, yeah, all right. These aren't as bad. I didn't, get, I didn't tell them to do tip the free like, cheese 69. That's mine. Like, I don't hate mine, but I also would Mine's like dated. a theme. I'll like, I, will, I, like, I like, like to keep the same name almost across everything. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm running into. Yeah. Because mine, mine was a thing that I had spread out wide. But it's been about, you know, like nine years since I've played a soccer game for the club that I have yeah. uh, associated with my PSN. So uh, <laughs> it's time to change it to yeah. something regarding Matty Ice or Matty Bo. Here Hopefully it is. One of I them are open. It. Fuck, I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, why would you and he that? says... As someone who's had his PSN ID since launch when he was just a kid, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is king, spelled with a Q. Oh, that's a new Mark. Okay. Is it like Chinese? Yep. <laughs> uh, Meatwad6996. <laughs> Batbugs. <laughs> I bum gaze. Hey, these are names that anybody can take, just letting you know. Yeah. They can be free in the market. <laughs> 
Yeah, anyway. It's coming. I, whatever. Hey, uh, just to let you guys know, when you do enter a tournament, such as a fighting game tournament, you are referred to as your... Your name. Your Steam Dang. name. Yeah, I don't know I fucking that. Miracle's name. Cause I, like, I, I don't went, know his name. It's, that's his Dota name, though. Well, not even... But, like, I'm... Like, say I'm at these, like, fighting game tournaments, and, like, I'm about to f- or fight someone. I'll be like, hi, my name's Ben. And, like, the one guy was, like... I'm Skull Daddy, some, some, no, 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 I'm like, <laughs> hell yeah, Skull Daddy. I was can, like, all right, no doubt. Can you merge accounts in Steam? I doubt it. Most no, things you can't so. merge accounts. Most most systems. But I, I might be wrong Xbox about that. What do you mean merge really? accounts? So you Wait, can make, you can on Xbox? Mm-hmm. You can, you, well, I mean, well. I thought you knew that. Well, emails. Like, you can, everything that your email is tied to, you can merge it to another email. I'm oh, saying I, I have my old fucking Xbox account. With those achievements, those purchases, all of that, can I merge that to the one I have now? Are you talking about the the Microsoft platform, like Skype and Hotmail um, and all that? Well, this was under Xbox's website, but because I, I want I want to log in with a different email address, I didn't want to keep using the same email address I have now. I know I can change, and, and all my purchases and shit is tied to that email. Right. So I want to make a new email, carry all that over, and you can do that. I don't know. Yeah, that's y- what you're looking for. Yeah. yeah, I want to be able to literally merge two accounts together. That sounds like that's a brand new email. It sounds like you're making a new email, adding it to that account, and then removing those other emails from that account. Yeah, I'm wondering if you can do that with Steam. In oh, a way, you can do that with any. To where it's like I make a new name, have a, you know, without any vanity shit, but carry all my purchases over and put it under that new one. So I just have that one name without no, because the display would still be what it is. Because Steam still has that paper trail of who you were. Even if you change the email associated with it, it would still have the paper trail. Hmm. Yeah, I always get fucked up because I can't remember if I'm mad. Think of it like a social security number, right? Like you can move addresses a thousand times, but your social security number is still the same. How can can, can, can I get a new social security number? Oh, fucking. <laughs> I know a guy. Yeah, you. Yo, I know you a go, guy. Can you, can you burn my fingerprints off? <laughs> if, you get, if you pay the price of a knife skin on Steam's uh, yeah. marketplace, I'm sure you can get a new one. Right. Oh, I guess I'm sticking to my elite, elite speak August. <laughs> hey, you remember when the Nintendo Switch Online launched and that NES thing came with it? Unfortunately. What? Oh, like the, the streaming? All the, no, it was, it's not even streaming. Those games. Yeah. All the NES games. Yeah. The not virtual console. Mm-hmm. Remember they announced that there would be future games added to the service, such as Solomon's Key, Dodgeball, sorry, Super Dodgeball, and NES Open coming in October, along with stuff uh, like these special editions of different games. So we got our first one, The Legend of Zelda Special. Uh, did you guys look at this at all? Yeah, it's just a second quest. You don't have to beat the game to play it. Yeah. And you get all the items from the start. Yeah. From carried over. Oh, so yeah, I did read about that. You have all the upgraded items. You have everything. The dungeons are all switched around, like, second quest mode. Um, yeah. So if you don't want to go through all the bullshit of getting everything, just play that one. It's a different adventure. It's kind of. According to Nintendo's official, like, listing, it's not technically the second quest. They still say that beating this game grants you a more difficult version called Second Quest. It's doing what Second Quest does, but they yeah, I think well, they're still the harder. Second Quest also doesn't give you all the items, I think, when you start either. Oh, okay. All right, got it. So, yeah. So, it is different. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, you get the Master Sword the, from the start. and It's the White Sword? Master wasn't in we'll it until Link to the Past? <laughs> no, Yo, Microsoft. Man, the facts over here, Mark. <laughs> Microsoft rolled out its new Xbox Avatar system. I made mine. Did you make yours? It's fucking gross. I know. I saw you made yours. I hate it. You were doing fucking cool hands, though. I saw that. Yeah, well, if you if you picked up the flirty emote, he yeah. goes like this because he's like, call me. So I was like. But oh, Mark paused it right on the like, sup, dude. <laughs> yeah, but just making a character. Ugh. Doesn't feel good at all. Everything has to load. Yeah, it took way too long. And everyone has like wide ass heads. But then when you flip them on their side, it's very small and squished. <laughs> Everyone's eyes are fucking sloth from Ice Age. And Sid. yeah, like you said, and like you. I was on the oh. phone with Katie. She's driving home from work. Uncanny Valley. She goes, what are you doing? Because I was clearly like not 
I was talking, but I was like not talking. Like a fucking idiot. It's like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, Omega, my avatar, the new avatars are out. And she's like, oh, does it look cool? And I was like, uh, I got a question. Are my thighs as thick as my arms? <laughs> she's like, what the fuck? It's like, that's a serious question I need to know because uh, there's an option to make my thighs thicker than my arms, thinner than my arms, or the same as my arms. I need your opinion. I went with that my thighs are about the same size. Not really. Yeah, it's uh, a lot. Yeah, some of it's just hit and miss. I, the, the customization is just not there, I feel. I don't know. Well, I even went, because there's obviously a thing you can go buy, right? And I wanted to make Ben mad. So I was like, all right, what can I buy for this? Uh, I typed in the word Halo, and there was no Halo item. So. It's only like Gears of War. It's like a Gears of War t-shirt. Does it have a Funko Pop on the front of no, it? No, there, there's a whole bunch of gear stuff. There's like costumes oh, and no. props and all that. Oh, I just looked long time. But does it have a Funko Pop on the front of it? Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, like, because cause, like, with my avatars, I like adding like that five o'clock shadow stubble thing because my facial hair is just so weird it, it's not that thick and it's very blonde so i just go for like the thinnest thing i could find yeah and that seems to work it adds that little depth of shading to it, the face yeah yeah yeah. this is just a full-on thick tony star goatee and it's like i hate it it looked good on you though because if you don't have it you just look like a fucking baby you can't mm. make yourself look aged any like in any way yeah everyone looks like a kid baby face 69 that's my new psn name I'm just going back to my old avatar, keeping the simple one. I like that that's an option because they know how much it sucks. <laughs> John keep... Carmack. Sorry. I oh, know, I was going to say, I'll keep my PSN, uh, don't, not make one, just a simple square. My 299 pink cat with laser eyes. Fuck can. <laughs> John Carmack tweeted this week his personal legal disputes had ended with Zenimax having fully satisfied their obligations to him. I had no idea shit was still going on. Yeah. Hell yeah, legal Zenimax court right, shit takes forever. Uh, so apparently the stuff between Oculus and Zenimax is still going on, but John Carmack's out. Uh, he said specifically, my personal legal disputes are over. Zenimax has fully satisfied their obligations to me from the purchase of id software, and we have released all claims against each other. The appeal for Oculus still goes forward. Yeah. Um... Oh. This was all stemming out of the fact that Zenimax believed that some of its uh, technology was being inappropriately used by Oculus, and they accused John Carmack of stealing Zenimax secrets after copying files from his office computer. Mm. Which I, I, I get big companies got to protect their stuff. Um, because if you don't make a case out of it, then you're going to tell the little guy, if you, if you don't go after John Carmack, then you're going to tell fucking John Smith that it's okay to pull files off his computer when he puts in his two weeks. I get it. S- sounds like but... a parent and foster parent fighting over a kid. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's all that shit is. Yeah. Um, we won't go too deep into this cause I don't really know if it's real or not, or I don't know, but there may be cause I saw it. Varying reports. There is a string of uh, messages being sent out on PlayStation Network that apparently will brick your console and force you to factory reset it. If you try and delete the message, it will not work. It's just someone sends you a message uh, and then it... Yep. There you go. So I've I've looked into the, the fix for this and I've seen a lot of people on the reddits and the reset eras come together to a certain agreement if you do get this message uh you do not have factory reset your playstation the first thing you should try to do one is to download the playstation app or the messages app if you don't have it already sign in delete the message from there yeah uh and then you can try to turn on your playstation if it still is going through a booting loop uh, there is a safe mode you can put your PlayStation into, and there is a rebuild database option that does not delete any of your data. Uh, it's more of a... I don't even know how to explain it. But it's something that seems to erase those types of problems. 
uh, and your PlayStation should boot like normal beforehand. I know for a fact the rebuild database thing works. Uh, it does not de- delete data. I got an application hung up on installation and uploaded into the cloud one time. And that's it. I read through some things. I saw that's what I needed to do. I did it, and everything's been working fine since then without losing any of my data. So uh, I would try all that first before a factory resetting. Yeah. But I have not run into it. I got it. <clears throat> I was getting you. my – I left work today. I got my car, and I looked uh, – I assumed that you all had texted about, like, recording and everything. So I looked at my phone – I saw 15 text messages from you. I saw two text messages from so-and-so. I looked and I saw, you have one new message on PlayStation. I was like, well, nobody fucking does that except for bots. <laughs> so I'm fucked. Um, I don't even remember what it said. I just, I didn't open the message actually. I, I don't know who it was sent from. Or, or, Yeah, I don't know what it said. I knew it was a bot because there's no one I fucking knew. So I downloaded this dumb messages app, deleted it, and then uh, we'll find out. But uh, yeah. Does the message say anything specific? It's... It said the one I saw on Reddit said Huegas question mark and then some uh, or no Huegas um, an emoji and then a heart emoji. But the heart the, the the first emoji is just a square with a question mark because it's can't render it. Can't it. yeah. This is the same thing I have with the iPhones. What about a year ago? Where like something it can't the Unicode yeah. doesn't know how to render the image or that line of code to make the image, and the phone freaks out, doesn't know what to do, but to shut down. And in right. some cases on the iPhone, it was a reboot loop until and, you reset it. Yeah. So at least with PlayStation, you have a safe mode to kind of deal with it that way. Yeah. But you have to, like, one of the workarounds is, or part of it is you have to download that Messages app to get rid of it. Because if not, that's going to keep it, existing. Man. And it's not even one of those things that you just go to, like, it just avoid messages. You can't because that message is going to keep popping up on the main dashboard because you know where it and says that, like, and notifications yeah, it just, that, and every time like it goes to render that image or whatever that line of code is your place is going to freak out and that's why so, you need turn, to delete the message so can you turn notifications off you can so i have notifications turned off on my ps4 because when we record um i don't want crap popping up while we're in the middle of capturing stuff but in addition to that, right from the PlayStation mobile app, you can change, and I think the messaging app too, you can change who can send you messages. Mm-hmm. So I deleted the message and then changed it so that all my friends can send me messages. Because I get that random shit every once in a while. Um, I don't think I've ever received a message from a stranger that's been good. So yeah. it, it's not a bad thing that I turned it off. Except yeah. for that one time, we did a Destiny raid with somebody or something. And he was like, GG, thanks guys. I was like, oh, that's not nice. But, well, let's just say I do that about 33% of the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fucking. I need to keep it open. I, it's imperative I, that I keep it open. Our last news story for the week. Scrapped concepts from DLC characters for Injustice 2. Hit the internet this week. This is fucking dope, dude. Did you I look at all of them? a dog? I, 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 I didn't even... a super dog? Was it crypto? Crypto. I, I, I didn't even look at them. I just read that line. And then screamed. Um, I used to have a dog named Crypto. Yeah, what's the bigger deal of this or the Harry Potter RPG? Oh, I didn't put the Harry oh, Potter RPG in here. Uh, I don't know. I don't care about Harry Potter, so... I don't either. I'm going to say this. Make Fucking books. Crypto, Bluebird, which I don't know if you guys know Bluebird. Uh, I don't. Bluebird is a modern era deep cut. So Bluebird is... There were it was a series of stories. She looks dope um, though. It's like Huntress and Nightwing. She's fucking combined. badass. Yeah, um, Scott Snyder, his run of Batman that started with the New Fifty Two back in twenty eleven. There was a girl named Harper Rowe and her brother. Um, their mom died, and they had a really shitty dad. They lived in like the the slums of Gotham. Um, her brother like idolized Batman, and she was way into tech stuff. Um, and she sort of started sneaking around. Not unsimilar to how, like, uh, Jason Todd got introduced to Batman. Although Jason was, like, stealing the fucking wheels off the Batmobile. She was, like, sneaking around the sewers following Batman and, like, using tech to whatever. And I think she helped save Batman when he got fucked up pretty badly. My memory suits me. Um, And he kept telling her to fuck off because he didn't... Right, like, there was a lot of, like, weird stuff going on with Damien and whatever, his son. And... Bruce was like, I don't want to bring another kid into this or someone else. Like, I can't keep bringing people into this. This is fucking mad that I keep bringing people into this to get killed. 
um, fuck off. And she was like, all right, I'm not going to do that. So she kept showing up and eventually she became Bluebird. And if she would have been a fucking character, God, it's badass. Cool. She looks cool. Yeah. Uh, additionally, fucking Detective Chimp. <laughs> But he's like badass. Bang bang, motherfucker! That's what that Fuck looks yeah, like, dude. Uh, Etrigan the demon. That's cool. That's cool. Fucking dope. Uh, Crypto Constantine. No picture of Constantine that I could find. Oh, Please. fucking course. Well, I didn't go all the way into this dude's uh, art station profile, so I can take a look here. Wow, a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, I just assumed you're on Deviant Art. Uh, Not the bad. first thing it was all through Imager, but. Um, yeah. yeah, like they had the demon and Constantine. If they would have added Dead Man, Swamp Thing is already in there. There you go. There's whole Justice League Dark going there's on. Constantine. Beautiful. Yeah, dude's got a lot on his art station. Um, he also had a lot of uh, yeah, Penguin was another one. Why didn't they use huh. the Keanu Reeves model? I'm not sure. Because might have been an, uh, wait, an alt you... skin. Are you serious? Is that a serious question? I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mark. I got you got me. <laughs> it's two times. I say, I, I, I'm, I'm doing good with that, that shit tonight. It's that face. You, you're putting on that mask. I'm a good actor. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's concept art of Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze ended up in the game as an alternate skin for Captain Cold. But, uh, yeah, that, that got me excited to play Injustice again. I think I might dive back in there this week. That, and then I watched... That Titans TV show, um, and started thinking a lot about uh, those characters again, man. Oh yeah, Google Titans today. I didn't even know that. I, I'm so out of it with TV. I didn't realize that was a show until I Googled Titans uh, uh, yesterday. We keep it kayfabe. Yesterday, uh, yeah, 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 the yeah. Tennessee Titans, uh, and then when I titans i got a lot of tv show shit i'm like what the fuck oh this is brand new i look at that oddly enough i tried to look up titans and found the fucking football game shit and i was like i don't, <laughs> I don't want this um so what happens and there's a character named raven you see if you would use the... google you'll be fine what do you mean because that's what he used to find yeah I, I put in titans and all the tv show stuff popped up see then you would have been fine mm. if you used bing I guess it's a trade-off, but yeah. that's all right. I'm fine with <laughs> researching and not uh, using Bing. But you would have been fine if you would use Google first. Anyway. Uh, have you guys watched Titans yet? Mm-hmm. No, Can't but I've used DuckDuckGo lately. I'm, I'm waiting. Kidding. That's a joke. I'm waiting for the second episode to air first. Uh, the second one's all about Hawk and Dove, or at least they're introduced. Um, the first one kind of sets the ground. You get to see all of the Titans. Yeah, just, you said this is on Dick Flicks. It is not on Dick Flicks. This is on DC Universe the oh, yeah. app. So DC has its own s- subscription service now. Yeah. Um, it's eight bucks a month. You can do a one week free trial, and yeah, they've got it's like all exclusive DC shows and comics. Like oh, it's I, live action. Yeah, it's fucking cool. They, so they've got a bunch of old. The one thing I'm really excited about now. Yeah. Is just having fucking Batman the Animated Series in HD, um, remastered, yeah, ready to go. Cool. But they've got a lot of movies. They don't have Batman Returns, which is you know, come on, dude, what are you fucking doing? Um, but comic books, like I just, it was weird, like just clicking on a comic book and reading it That's without cool. doing anything. Um, I've been like, ever since playing Spider Man, I've been like, right, I fucking love comic books. Why have I not been? up in this world again. And then I start to look into it again. I'm like, all oh, right, that's why. Cause it's fucking exhausting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, um, I don't know this. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. First episode is good. Uh, that trailer, you watched the trailer a couple months ago when yeah. Dick Grayson said, fuck Batman. And it was like, all right, you guys are trying to be fucking cool. The whole trailer. Just not a fan of, uh, <laughs> it was very cringy for me. Siri, the first episode, nothing like that trailer. Really? Do not let that trailer. in. So Raven isn't as bad as she seems. I very don't... very whiny and no raven's kind of badass dude she you look at her and she's just normal you know right goth teenage girl but then whenever she whenever something bad is about to happen she looks at her reflection the dark part of her comes out and it's like let me kill him and then like at one point like a it comes out of her and flies into some dude's mouth are you then... sure you're not spoiling venom right now i'm spoiling everything um <laughs> 
it was fucking it was cool a lot of blood so that that part in the trailer where they're in a car and she's like or her it was her robin it was like yeah my mom told me that there was no such thing as monsters and then it's oh that was the final that was the the closer of the episode (sighs) that part i hated about to see this dick it's (laughs) (laughs) that it made sense more contextual you know in context but it it definitely it's just the way they cut that trailer Uh, i mean that was a bad trailer and the way they're marketing everything it seems like from what i'm hearing they're just marketing everything based off of the first episode and Mm. i don't think that's good marketing because you're giving a false image of what that show probably I, yeah. i'd rather have that though than the bullshit of a trailer Cause giving away whole... the ending of a movie yeah. that's fair yeah that's i'd rather have that because guess mean, what yeah. i close my eyes and kind of go la, 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 whenever i see anything for halloween but like yeah. it, because that trailer didn't do so well and everyone's like what the fuck happened to these characters and it's like well they only look like this because of this episode they're gonna look different in the other ones apparently yeah because there's like, a lot of controversy with that because in this dick is robin yeah. Um. I mean, he's fucking badass, dude. Robin took a dude's face and dragged it across a brick wall and left a trail of blood across the wall. And then another dude tried to get away in a car, so he broke the window and then smashed the dude's face down on the side on like all of the broken glass on the car and fucking pushed him back and forth. Yeah, cause fuck Batman. It, <laughs> and then yeah, he walked away after he had knocked everybody out because they kept saying like, "Hey, birdie boy, where's Batman? Where's the bat?" And they're Do like you really looking think up. Think a henchman would. Be like that though, as soon as you see him. Oh, yes, I'm... and DC Comics, yes, yeah. absolutely. And it wasn't as, exa- as exaggerated as I was doing. But I know, but I'm just. I, he's like, I remember that trailer. Was like, yeah, he like dropped down to like. As a henchman, I wouldn't even fucking talk. I would just go right to shooting. They but... they pulled out their guns like, "Where's Batman?" And he was like, "Like, why would you care?" He didn't say anything, and then he just started whatever. As a henchman, then... I wouldn't want Batman. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Well, they were scared. They were like looking up, like, yeah. "Oh wait, the bird's alone." And then they started uh, opening okay. fire on him that and, and whatever. Sense. And he beat the shit out of all of them. And after he beat them all up, that's when he was like, fuck Batman. Mm. Uh, and then he, did he jizz in their face or is that the next episode? <laughs> they teased that for next episode. There was a, a mod in the first Counter-Strike where you could jizz on people's faces after you killed them. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> What's the name of that knife skin? <laughs> and it would, it would be like the sound effect and everything too. <sighs> it was basically Which just a porno playing Counter-Strike. 1.6. Some servers, they had some mod. Yo, I might be re- revisiting at one point it was tonight. Because you could do that, or you could, like, pee on them after you killed them. The fuck are we playing Postal? <laughs> anyway, Titans is pretty good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fuck my go career. I gotta go <laughs> just in people's faces. Kind of excited about Titans. I like comic books. I hope there's a Justice League video game in development. God, well, that would discourage that would discourage me to use an op because I need to be in their face. <laughs> that way, when I kill them, pick up their gun for the next round. It's... I think what they're doing with Dick Grayson is pretty interesting. Speaking about dicks, I can't wait to play one point six tonight. <laughs> this has been the free cheese episode two hundred sixty nine. Sixty nine dicks. Exactly. If you like this episode. You can find the rest of our episodes on the internet where you likely found this. Wherever you got this one, I bet you you can find the next one or the last one or all of the preceding ones. But just in case you need to know where that is, we're on iTunes, we're on YouTube, we're on Google Play Store, I think. We're on Overcast. We're on Overcast. More importantly, we're on thefreecheese.com. You can go to thefreecheese.com, find out everything we're doing. Uh, there should be a video of Mario Party up soon uh monday october 15th we got our next look into resident evil i got further man we're getting there we're making a dent i think you all said i'm like 99 percent of the way through the game right mm-hmm. no not quite minus uh well i said you're somewhere between zero and 100 percent true and what else we got going up this week that's Hitman. Nope, never mind. Well, we got Hitman Sorry. going Sorry. up uh, every week. There's always going to be a Hitman. There's always going to be a Hammer. Uh, last episode, did we make it out of Colorado? I don't know. To tune in to find out. Or did we and just decide to stay to get high? I don't, you know, I Who? don't know. Go watch the episode and find out. That's over on YouTube.com, just like the rest of our stuff. We're all on Twitter. The free cheese is at some free cheese. Ben is at Sev Ben's. 
Mark is at Algo underscore mental. Matt is at MattyIce131, and I am at the free cheese. Sorry, I started getting lunch coming up on me. Built you know? Lunch. Yeah. Why don't you have uh, to eat some good soup? Pizza. Oh, that's a weird soup. Because it weren't. I got to figure out what I want for dinner. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. We'll be back in a week. Uh, anything? Anything? We hit it all. We did it. I think so. All right. Cool. Well, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, listener, for listening. We'll see you next time.